Hello, all you beautiful people. Welcome to some Trails into Reverie. Today, we are going to continue together in questioning everything that is going on. Because uh, last time, we got um, kind of pulled into like this weird little mirror that Rain and Lloyd suddenly found in their pockets. And we're in some weird world with some weird person talking to us that we don't even know what they look like because we just hear voices everything is very confusing but <laughs> that's we're gonna find out um maybe some of the uh maybe some answers to some of them uh some of those questions but uh yeah hopefully we we get the answer i really want to know who the voice is really and i want to learn more about swin and c and all of them so it's gonna be a lot of good fun but yeah hopefully uh Hopefully you guys are excited as I am, because I want to jump right into it. But yeah, we, we were actually in the middle of a dungeon um, in the new kind of weird area inside the mirror called the Reverie Corridor. So if things might be a little bit confusing, yeah, they're confusing to all of us right now. And uh, I had to kind of like cut off the stream like three floors into this dungeon, primarily because... Oh yeah, my, my timer was running, running out last time, and I was like, <laughs> I had to cut it there. But, uh, really, we, um, we don't exactly, I mean, I'm not sure. I don't exactly think we know why we're in here yet. We just kind of, kind of got told to go in here. Yeah, just check out the surrounding area. That's really all there is to really say. But, I mean, there's not much to the... There's not really much to the overall plot that's told to us in this book right now. But, uh, yeah. Um, we got a very powerful team, so we should be good. But this is also the bigger side of the, uh, dungeon as well. Um, this is a way bigger area than what we were exploring in floors 1 through 2. Let me leave all this stuff so that way I can keep an assault gauge at the ready. And I'll throw it once I get these two... There we go. All right. But yeah, we got a mixture of Lloyd's and Rain's team. Um, they're all... They're, oh, I was going to say they're all here. That's not true. We don't have every single character of Class 7 and also every character from the SSS. Um, we just got a couple here and there. But the good thing is we got all the really, really good characters all in a single team. We got Rain. We got Elliot. We got Altina. And we also have um, Ash as well. So we got some really powerful characters here. We just got to replace pretty much from our last, you know, Code Still 3, Code Still 4 playthrough. Replace, um, um, who was it? Muse. Replace Muse for Elliot. Not that Muse is bad, but like Elliot is just a way better support in every way. On top of also, on top of also having an S-Craft that you can throw at any point. With just a single press like this, and you can save the team by reviving, taking off status effects, healing, all that good stuff. And I think it also does like SP as well, or CP I mean. Yep, and CP regeneration. 200 CP, yeah. 200 CP, um, you'll get CP 30, plus 30 for 3 turns, which is ridiculous. And an HP regen! So, yeah, that's exactly why I bring him along. But, uh, other than that, yeah, we're just kind of going through the dungeon right now. I don't know why I picked that one. Going through the dungeon right now and just trying to see what's going on here because we're all kind of clueless as to what's going on. We're just hearing a voice and we're just kind of following it because we don't really got any other choice of what we can really do at the moment. So we're here in the Reverie Corridor trying to see if we can get some answers. Could have sworn Altina's uh, normal attack AOE was a bit bigger. Uh, try to save some EP. Um, I know this stuff was usually never that, never that useful. Yeah, not 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 really, but it's all right. Nice, we got the instant kill on one. I think we got an instant kill on one. I think that's, uh, I think that was, that, that guy had a lot of HP. Um, also, we learned, let me, 
Let me show you guys over here. The Zero Craft. We finally got the answer that I've been wanting to find out for like three streams. Um, which was, if I do a quick S Craft, you know, a quick craft with one of these, um, will it be free? You could really abuse that. But no, you actually have to manually go up to it and it will actually be free that way. It won't be free if you just go here and select it. Which I, I think it's a good idea. That's like I, like I was like like I was saying when I brought that idea up, I was like, man, we could really like cheese this cheese the game right now if we could literally just S craft anytime it comes up, steal a free S craft, steal the zero craft from the the enemy that might be going. And just yeah, literally win that easily. But the devs, the devs already thought about that. Level one hundred and five for Elliot. Oh yeah, and also a little update to our uh, face cam for those that uh um that might have been here last stream and the very tail end of our stream before that one. Um, we do have one coming. We do have face cams coming. Um, I'm kind of waiting on, uh, the overlay to be finished. I'm, I'm actually going to go ahead and, like, buy, um, a little, like, light that will shine down on me because I, I like to play in the dark. Um, the thing is, at, like, this time of the stream, like, 5 p.m.-ish, like, to 6, 5 to 7, it's like, I, I'm totally fine. I can play with the lights on a little bit, but when it's really dark out, like, it's nighttime and I have the lights on, my eyes actually really start to burn. So, the light really hurts my eyes. So, I really want to just, like, prevent that, um, by getting, like, uh, by getting this light that will shine down on me, but I'll still be able to keep the lights off in the room. Because that actually really hurts. Oh, go dang, CP loss. And also, at the same time, um... It also, <laughs> it's it, I it find it funny because, um, you know, it would be the opposite typically, but, um, uh, having the light on at night actually makes me very sleepy. So, <laughs> so not only would it make me like really sleepy, but it would also really hurt my eyes. And you would, no one wants a stream of me going through any of that. <laughs> um. So yeah, I'm gonna have this like little like, it's it's like you know the things that they kind of use for like, you would put your phone on there. I'm not gonna put my phone on there. That's not what I'm streaming, the face cam foot uh thing off of. Yeah. But, um, I'll be able to get like a, a light that shines down. I won't obviously put my phone on it because that's not what I'm recording with. But I'll put it down, and uh, I'll just use the light from it. <laughs> That's all I need. Oh, it changes. Okay. Or it rotates it. Burn. That's a good one for the early game. That's a really good one, actually. Uh, can I fit that anywhere? Can you put that with the breakers? So, for example, a crit rate plus two isn't that big right now, but can you just change that? Yeah, you can. You can just put burn. Extra strength and a chance to burn the enemy. Like, that's really good. We'll put that. Alright. Um. Let's go ahead and hit it. What if I'm on it? Ah, oh, it doesn't work that way then. What if you have, like, Muse Aid? Someone that, like, shoots across. Her attack is to shoot. I think I kind of got a, uh, a double chain battle there. But yeah, any day now, my overlay will actually be finished. They actually wrapped it up, but I, I actually want to change a few things on it. Um, once those two, uh, those like three things are done, and then we're, we're ready to get started. I'm just going to go maybe later today after the stream, because I just remembered. I'm going to go order the little light. And we'll be set. We'll be good. I can't wait, honestly. <laughs> I've been dying to do that for a long time. But with my old setup, I didn't have, like, 
a way of like really doing that. Now I do. Yes, I'm using laptop, my laptop to like <laughs> have a face cam. But at the same time, the thing about it is uh, with the current setup I have, I don't really have an option to like buy a camera. I would have to like, I, uh, I mean, I could, it depends on what kind it is. I wouldn't need, it cannot be on my table at all because my table is really small and pretty much the entirety of it is occupied. Um, because of my, my, my living space is just really small. Um, but, uh, maybe, maybe one that, like, stands in front of me, like, behind the table. I can do that. Put it behind the table and, uh, have it stand and look down at, uh, I don't want it to look down. I want it to be leveled. But, uh, maybe. I'll have to look into it. Let me, I'll, I'll, I'll pay attention. I'll check that out. After the stream, I'll try to remember to do that. Because from the updates that they showed me, it's just about done. The overlay is done. I just want to change a few things. Change a couple things. And then that's it. It's small things, though. But yeah. But yeah. Look forward to that. It could be... It could... Oh, well, I doubt it's going to be next stream. Um... But it could be the, uh... It could be the stream after the next. Who knows? An equipment chest, I think. Yes. You wild souls. It's for Ash only. Awesome. I'm using Ash, actually. So let's go ahead and give that to him. Oh, he already has wild souls. Alright, well, that's just gonna get sold then. <laughs> gonna get sold wildly, I guess. <laughs> Alright. There's a chest over there. There's a nice chain battle here I can get. Hopefully I can get the big guy first. I did not. Are you kidding me? Let's get that BP. And yeah, Green has... I don't know what it is, but he has some... He has some sort of... Uh, instant kill... Uh, death blow effect on his attacks. It could be the weapon... It could be an uh, ornament I forgot that I put on him. But I don't think I put an ornament that uh, has death on it. Alright. We got this big enemy here. Uh, Mega Lift Fall. 120. Nemesis Arrow. It's weak to Mega Lift Fall. We'll do that. I'll aim it right here. And damn, ninety-four thousand. Actually, I'm gonna spirit unification here, and I'm gonna activate the blazing swarm order. And I'm gonna do supreme crimson slash. Into S-Craft. Well, I should have held that. There was a crit coming up. Nice. Crits me with the crit I should have used. Oh, Ash actually on his turn has a... Uh, a Zero Craft. That's perfect. Uh, he's weak to... Uh, he's resistant to that. Throw it all. Throw it all. Nice. Let's get this. Okay. And zero craft. Uh, it still has a lot of HP. Let's activate Blazing Swarm. And then activate... Arcadius Gear 2. I was thinking about doing the United Front, but then I was like, wait a minute, that's gonna take my turn. It lived. Oh my god, he's confused. No wonder! 4,000. Let me Helix. There we go. Helix primarily because it was enhanced. I know how, how crazy the defense is when you're enhanced. Scorpio Master Court has hit level 7. That's the Master Court that Lloyd has. 
he gets Galleon Force, uh, Galleon Fort, I mean, and damage increased to break, uh, to enemies in break state by 75%. This is actually Ashes that I just gave to him. <laughs> uh, and also a third ability has been unlocked where your attacks and crafts inflict Nightmare on a 10% chance. And the link between Ash and Altina has hit level 5 where they both learn Rush 2. Yes. And Lloyd yeah. hits level 106. And because I killed a little mini boss, I get a silver ceiling stone. Which we still have, by the way, not learned what those are for. I'm pretty sure once we get out of the dungeon, we're going to get our answers to a lot of the stuff. Like I said, a, a lot of, I'm, I have a lot of questions that do not yet have answers. And if you have questions, then you probably are questioning the exact same things that I am questioning. Here's our chest to get a coral bracelet, strength 45, crit rate 4, prevent seal. Um, I can't remember. We got a lot of like really good ones on, like good accessories. Crit rate 3 though. Then I can get a coral bracelet, which is going to give 45 strength and the one, the plus 1% 1 crit rate. Um, that one prevents stat down, which I actually really do like. But... We're gonna go with that instead. Yeah. I keep pressing start to like back out of the menus entirely. I think Xenoblade Chronicles 2 has really spoiled me on on the quick menuing like that. Um I didn't go in the middle. Is there anything in the middle? An enemy? Well let me not let me not let me not skimp out on any XP here. I don't want to skimp out on any XP whatsoever. Throw this. This song very much sounds uh, like a crossbow song. Like one of the songs from the crossbow duology. Which I appreciate. That's Brionac. It's no, it's no, uh, it's no secret that, uh, my favorite game in the Trail series is Azure, followed by Zero. Just the crossbow duology, just my absolute favorite. Level 106 for Reen. Um, and we're good to go and get the heck out of here. All right, back, now we're on the fourth floor. I don't know how many floors there are. It's not like we were told beforehand. Oh, the music changed. Uh, this could be it. Yep, Orbman Charging Station. Red red icon. We're, yeah, we're here. We're here. We're going to save. And we're going to hit up the Orbman Charging Station. This one is a little bit different looking. Oh, yeah, it's because we're inside this area. Uh, let's first rest up. And, uh, I can't remember. Oh, yeah, I was going to buy... I save. I was saving my stuff so I can buy a strong version of Crescent Mirror. Yeah. I need to just buy one more Crescent Mirror. And to be able to do that, I need a Mirage Sepif. Which I got. So, awesome. I got a lot of Mirage Sepif, actually. So, we're going to go ahead and strengthen. Well, first, I need to... Go to my orbments for Alt uh, not Altina, Elliot. We're gonna take off the crescent mirror. Um, and I, I backed out too ma too many times. Uh, to go to crescent mirror and buff it up. I've said it a hundred times throughout Code Steel Four. I don't know if I uh, I found out how good it was in Code Steel Three, but in Code Steel Four, I I said a hundred thousand times, and I must say it probably a hundred thousand more times in Trails into Reverie. Crescent mirror is absolutely one of the best support skills you can get in the entirety of the series. This thing is just absolutely busted. If, let me let me re-explain this. So, this is full screen support. It's a full screen, doesn't matter how far you are. Um, it will reflect all ornaments and magical crafts, magical normal attacks, and magical S crafts. So anything magic related at all. Which of course doesn't account for physical. But, your defense and arts defense goes up by a large amount for four turns. The magic reflect lasts for four turns as well if it does not get used up once. It reflects 
one thing uh I, it reflects one thing only one time um so if you get hit like two times in a single turn um well not a single turn but if you if there's two enemies and they hit you both with magic one will get reflected but the other but then you lose the reflect and the other one can still hit you with magic now um but your defense and arts defense goes up by a large amount for four turns so if i remember that is 75 percent defense up so that's crazy that's already really good like that that in, in and of itself and then the magic reflect is on top of that absolutely and yeah like if 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 nothing gets reflected with your with your magic reflect um it lasts for four turns so just anytime your your teammates go through uh have their turns four times and it starts to wear off just cast another one keep doing it and also it really what's really good uh i don't know if there is one at this point in the game but if you can get the mirage bells whatever they're called um you that'd be even better because you can get that on top of like well i think maybe mm, i don't know about cast like cast the cast series ornaments on top of mirage bells that might be a bit much but a mirage bell would be tremendous because then that's just gonna make you cast this super fast like real fast sometimes a lot of the times i casted it almost next turn or the next like two turns so yeah really good and now we're buffing it to the r version which now it gets arts attack and arts defense up by 20. so that's really good imagine once we get the sr variant and then the ur variant so yeah that is gonna be really really good so crescent mirror r um, helping with our survivability and our damage with the R variant. That's really good. Um, and let me check. There is no, like, bells. Yeah, there's no... I think that was in Strength and Quartz, actually. Wasn't it? No. There was a page where you could, like... I think it was a, a trading shop or something. I don't think it's here. No. I feel like that was in some sort of, like, trading shop. Because... It's definitely not here. But, uh, anyways. Uh, we can go ahead and give up our Sepif Mass. We don't need the money for anything at the moment, but it's just good to just have it. And, uh... What slots can I open up? Uh, I want to first work on, um, Altina. I don't know how often Elliot will be joining us. I know whenever we go through the Reverie Corridor, it seems it, like there's a potential possibility that we're going to always have a gigantic party with us. Because um, that seems like the premise. Because there's a whole menu for shuffling your party when you're in here. Um, but uh, um, I feel like Altina is going to be with us for a longer time outside the Reverie Corridor. And I can rely on that. So let me upgrade Altina. And besides, her her uh, arts arts attacks are a lot more expensive than support uh, than support arts. Um, let's go ahead and upgrade this, that, and that's it. That's all I can do. And let's rest. I don't think in I and I, I don't know if I can't remember, but I remember you. I don't think you got your EP when you uh open your slots i think you have to like rest up anyways here we go let's go see what boss we're gonna be fighting it's just a cube with a cube with some gears at the bottom and screws or whatever quadrate possibility um cubelian Begin. Wow, it gives us a choice to battle or not. All right. Okay, its attacks are pretty big. Okay, gotcha. Um, we're gonna act. Damn, this song. This song is going in. Let's go ahead and activate Spirit Unification, and then I'm gonna activate. Holy crap, this song. <laughs> I'm going to activate Infernal Hunt. This song is going in. 
And then I'm gonna act, I'm gonna use this. Nice. And then I'm gonna S craft. There's a 50% chance that we're gonna crit. Uh, we did not, sadly. All right. 80. Okay, cross crusade would be what to what to do. But first, let's buff our team with our beautiful Crescent Mirror, which is already a pretty fast cast. You see that? He gets to go before the boss even gets to. He gets to uh, use the spell before the boss even gets to go, and I like that a lot. We're gonna go ahead and cast Unbound Rage. And we're going to go and throw up a... Tweak to wind. Okay. Nemesis arrow. Here's our buff. Enhanced defenses for four turns. 75%. And of course the reflect. Um... Let's keep casting Nemesis Arrow. Now that we have our buff up, um, we're going to go ahead and throw up an Infernal Hunt. We're going to recast it. And uh, he has 200 CP. Okay. We're going to cast Reaper's Whirlwind. Into a Rush. Into S-Craft. I gotta be ready to, once I break this boss, to throw up a bunch of crafts. Um, let's put up a, what was your support abilities uh, for your crafts? Okay. I gotcha. Um, let's go ahead and throw Cross Crusade. Get some damage out. 15k crits. I like it. Meteoric Award. Is this magic? I think it is. Oh, it is not. Um, it, put, it left us all at 8 HP. That's interesting. Let's let Elliot go, though. Oh, no, no, no. Are we burned? Oh, no, no. That's just Elliot's... I mean, that's just Reen's uh, effect. Um, Okay. We're fine. Let's let Elliot do his thing. And if he, uh... If he doesn't get a turn immediately afterwards to help us out here, I'm gonna S-Craft with him. I'm on my last turn. Okay, then... I'm gonna throw up an S-Craft yet again. So let's throw this before it runs out. Thirty-four K, and Elliot does get to go. Nice twelve K, and we broke him. I can cast Holy Breath. I want to do more than that, though. Let's do Holy Song, so that way I can get us up. And uh, wait, actually, there's the United Front. I can't. I think it's because yeah, it's because uh, Ash is down. Gotcha. Let's throw this. Recover the status ailments. Do I have an accelerate in here somewhere? Um, I feel like it was on, uh, Kaler. It's all good, though. I wanted Ash to get to, uh, have a chance to go. Oh, actually, well, he does have an S-Craft. If I cast... Yes! Nemesis Arrow. Perfect. Um, wait, hold on. Throw up a Blazing Swarm first. Nemesis Arrow. If I throw up a United Front, that's 30 CP. Okay. With two BP refs. Okay. But I, I do kind of need to heal. <laughs> I 
This is honestly the best time to attack, though. If I get fit, I get 73 CP. It's not going to be enough. If I had one more person that went in front of the boss, I could do a, another United Front, which will get Reen his S-Craft. I'm gonna go with the United Front. God, I feel like I should... I should just be safe. Let's be safe. Ah, crap. I forgot to S-Craft the Vash. I need to take off high, high speed when I get into situations like that. Nemesis Arrow. Going to Rumbling Smash. Reflex. Good 14k. We're gonna recast Crescent Mirror. Nice BP. And we'll throw up a United Front attack here. 46k. Okay. Then, let me throw up an Infernal Hunt here. And throw up a United Front attack. And then S-Craft of Reen and Ash. And... If it, there's a... There's a crit coming up, so if it somehow lives through all this... We got an Ultina S-Craft crit. No, it has 6,000 left. It's dead. I love how in Ash's S-Craft, we still get the effect of blood on the screen, but like... <laughs> it's a freaking cube. There ain't no blood coming out of that. Alright, we got uh, 5 Silver Shards. We got uh, level 106 for Otina and Ash. And Ash actually gets a, a buff to Void Breaker. Um, so now it's an S plus or maybe it's a brand new craft Yeah, it's the okay. It's the yeah, it's a new craft This is the craft that I was hoping I would get already because this is the craft. I used a lot This is like your boss killing craft right here Um, it's your S plus damage so really high damage SS break really high break and SS unbalanced chance It's a single target with a large effect a defense down on the enemy chance a chance of it of course for four turns and that's of course a 75% defense down on the enemy which is gigantic that's a boss killing move I would throw that and then I would S craft right afterwards and BAM defeated the guardian which gives me a red ceiling stone I've killed every every single thing in this uh, in all floors of this dungeon so we'll see what those are for that had to have been the master of this floor you think that would be enough to trigger a change, but nothing. My guess is something more needs to happen to make the barrier here disappear. Makes sense. Then we'll have to search around for some potential leads. Not here, though. It's clear this is as far as we can go for now. How about we think on it back on the ground floor instead? Everyone okay with that? Might as well, yeah. It's possible the others might have figured out something while we were here. Good point. Let's get back to the base and swap notes with them. Alright, let me do a little rest before I just... Whoops. Before I uh, fast travel back. Dang, we're gonna fast travel back. I feel like uh, all my, my work to get over here. It's gonna be gone. Oh, I also saw something in that menu there. I got one out of the two blue ceiling stones. That makes no sense when I killed everything. Unless it means that's how much I can hold at the moment or something. I don't know. Oh, they're back. We explored as much of the first stratum as we possibly could. It does make for a good place to train, if nothing else. There seemed to be more to explore, but there was a barrier preventing us from going any farther in. 
Did anything change while we were away? You could say that. Some tables and chairs have appeared, so it's a lot more comfortable than it was before. Looks like it's the garden's way of optimizing things for us. Well, that's a, that's a pleasant surprise. All the more reason to settle in. This is going to be our home base. Conditions of master missions fulfilled. It's finally activated. Master missions. It sounds like something else has changed. Now that we're back, why don't we have a look around the garden to find out what? Sounds good to me. You can now view missions and report the completion using the central core. Inspect the central core sphere in the plaza to view missions and report their completion. View the view missions tab after inspecting the, the central core. Okay. M missions. Earn a variety of rewards by completing missions. You can complete missions by fulfilling certain conditions in either the main story or in the reverie corridor. Check your current missions by pressing the ZL and pressing X. Report missions to receive rewards at the central core. Okay. Missions. You can view the missions available to you and collect rewards for completing them via the central core. I've read that like five times now, yes? One mission has already been completed this far. Feel free to collect the reward re relating to it. Oh, this is where we can report RP. So, our exploring the first stratum and conquering its master was a mission. And I get 120 of those weird currencies that we're finally gonna get. We're finally gonna get, and we're gonna get Dragon Vision. Okay. 10 RP upon completing exclamation mark missions. All right. Phantasmo shards, that's what those are. Ease future trials. I like that. If collecting those shards is to our benefit, then we can't afford to ignore them. Yeah, let's keep unlocking stuff. <clears throat> Trade Phantasmo shards for special items or use them to unlock useful abilities. By unlocking the option to increase your BP, you can now store more BP in total on your gauge. Okay, so you can increase the BP and clearly you can go up to 7. More options to either unlock, uncap, or trade will be available as the story progresses. Okay. Let's see what we've got. Report RP. Additional information concerning advocate advocated conduct is available. Visitors are advised to conduct themselves in such a manner that better allows the Reverie Corridor to fulfill its intended purposes. Our, a series of criteria have been devised to effectively administer this process with remuneration provided for successfully completing said criteria. About Reverie Points. Okay, that's what, that's what RP stands for, Reverie Points. And liberation rank. You will be rewarded for certain decisions and actions made during the main story with RP or reverie points. Your rank will increase after earning a certain amount of RP. You will be able to claim a valuable reward from the central core each time your rank increases. By making good decisions, acting appropriately, and completing quests, you will gain rank points RP. We have RP that's reverie points and rank points. Okay, there's a lot going on here. Um, upon completing enough RP and reporting a quest, your rank will increase. There are 10 ranks ranging... Rank, okay. Okay, okay. There are 10 ranks ranging from G to SSS. Of course. Of course, the SSS. And each time your rank increases, you will receive rewards from the central core. Okay, and this is everything we've done so far. We've went from rank G to F. Rank has been increased to F, and we've gained a that 
a Theseus, a Theseus ring, I guess. I like that you can see everything we're gonna get. Uh, for example, I think no, all of that stuff up there with the ornaments are all brand new. I don't remember a Kagura, a Mercurius, Master Court, Ryuko, or Jaudabo for whatever. And those uh, accessory belts. I don't know those. Alright. Rank increased to F. We gained the accessory. Let me check it out. Strength defense and arts defense up by plus 150. Holy hell. And CP gain plus 60%. Damn, Gladiator Headband sucks now when you can just get a Theseus ring that does double that. Literally double. Double the damage and defenses and double the CP gain. Hell yeah. We're definitely going to go with that. Alright, let's save and see what else is in there. Uh, use Phantasmo Shards. So, we can unlock a unsealing pedestal with 50 Phantasmo Shards. We have 120. Enables access to the pedestal that uns that's that unseals sealing stones in the Reverie Garden. Hey, that's the things we've got. Unlock. Those are the uh, sealing stones that are the colored ones. The green and the reds and all that stuff that we've been getting throughout the dungeon. Guessing this unsealing pedestal is the thing on the platform that we saw earlier? It would seem so. It should be active now. This must be what the voice was alluding to. It really is another useful functionality. Well, what are we waiting for? Why don't we go have a look? Yeah, only one way to know for sure. Alright, let's head up there. What other missions is, are there, if any? No, not nothing right now. Uh, over here. Wait, where the hell am I? Oh, on the top? Okay. The cutscene made it look like it was, uh, on the same floor. Just making sure if there was no anything else I'm forgetting. About the unsealing pedestal. The unsealing pedestal is a facility used for the purpose of, naturally, unsealing items called sealing stones. Um, unsealing stones... Unseal sealing stones via this pedestal in the garden. You will find various kinds of sealing stones in the reverie corridor. Um, you can get gold, blue, and red by defeating masters and guardians. Um, the gold ones unlock allies to join you in the reverie corridor. Okay. Blue unlocks daydreams from the past. Interesting. I'm interested in that one. Red unlocks daydreams with mini games. Oh, good lord. Mini games. Uh, a silver stealing stone pulls 10 items per one stone. That's by defeating a formidable foe. An SR item is guaranteed. Oh. Okay. But the silver shards only pull one item per stone. And you just get that naturally with battle drops and treasure chests. Recruitable allies from gold to ceiling stones will be periodically updated. A blue ceiling stone is currently in your possession. Use the unsealing pedestal to reveal its contents. Well, I've got other ones, but they won't let me use them yet. Let's use the blue one then. This did what again? Oh yeah, daydreams of the past. Result, the daydream buried trails, beaten trails, blazed trails is now available. Okay, there's Swin, Na uh, Nadia, and uh, Rishia there. Okay. You may now access the slab of reminiscence. There is so much crap going on right now. There's just... I think they're th throwing too much at me right now. 
Slab of Reminiscence views daydreams featuring past events. New daydreams can be discovered through blue ceiling stones. Does anyone know? Does anyone understand what just happened? Yeah, exactly, Elliot. There was just so much the game is throwing at me. Is that the thing that's going to let us look into the past somehow? That would that would be a strange twist. How the hell does that work? This garden is just full of mysteries. Regardless, at least we know what to do with any other ceiling stones we come across. Not to mention the phantasmo shards. There's a lot to keep track of. We have to remember to use what we have at our disposal, strange as it may be. It's easy to get caught up in how any of this is theoretically possible, given how little the logic of our own world seems to apply here. I'm still convinced that everything here exists for the purpose of making us stronger, though. The Black Mirror? アマタの因果の先にある運命を切り開くことを期待する。Okay, we can leave now. So the mirror itself is how we return. We can leave whenever we want and then return when we want to become stronger. Yeah, but I'm still stumped over what we were even doing before all of this. We should probably get back to it though. I feel as though we were in the midst of something very important. That's likely why we were called here in the first place. Safe bet. Whatever it was, all the stuff we did here should help us do it better. Hopefully. I just wish we could do it without having our memories wiped again. That's out of our hands for the moment. Let's focus on what we can control. Yeah, let's take this opportunity to go back. But I wouldn't be surprised if the Reverie Corridor continued to help us going forward. It's great to know it'll be here when we need it. Even if we're about to forget that fact. Yes, we can really master our craft for when the time comes. It would also be to our benefit to explore everything we weren't able to see during this trip at a later point. We'd be fools not to make good use when the opportunity does arise. The Reverie Corridor's Layout The Reverie Corridor is a unique space which is, does not possess a single fixed layout. A new internal layout will be randomly generated upon inspecting the central core and selecting Rearrange the Reverie Corridor. Open chests will be replaced with fresh ones, and defeated monsters will be resurrected and changed so you can just so you can enjoy a different experience each time. There are rare items that can only be found in the Reverie Corridor, so it is worth your while to explore fully. You are no longer required to use certain characters when exploring the Reverie Corridor. Your exploration party can now be made up of any combination of characters. It's been one surprise after another since we arrived here, but I think everyone is starting to get the hang of things now. Maybe I should go see how they're doing while I check all the facilities we have to access now. There are several facilities worth utilizing in the Reverie Garden. I mean, I already understand it, but what about the door? Oh, just take on trials. Okay. And the cube? Play minigames. Sporting stone. Okay. We don't ha have that yet. I gotcha. The Reverie Garden's state has changed. We will now begin exploring the Reverie Garden as Lloyd. New master missions have been added. Okay. Any shards? I can. I can. I can activate a support slot plus one. Increase the available slots for tag along characters in the Reverie Corridor. Okay. I don't have enough for it. Boost your max BP. Okay, it can take it to six, but I don't have enough for that. Or this next one, which gives your assault gauge up to three. That's nice. I'm gonna go with max BP when I get the opportunity. View missions. Unseal a golden ceiling stone at the unsealing pedestal. View a daydream unlocked from the ceiling. Yeah, we're gonna check that now. Um, view three daydreams. Okay. 
Unlock five, uh, unseal five stones, unseal ten stones. Oh, look, silver belt. That's a great for our crescent mirror. I was just talking about it earlier. Um, and I, I do have some stuff to unseal. Uh, before I do any of the main quests and it kicks us out of here, um, be a cutscene or whatever. I want to first uh, go through this one more time. Um, I know we can shop here and get all that good stuff. Uh, we can unseal here. About gold sealing stones. Gold sealing stones will allow you to recruit additional party members who, do, who don't join you as part of the story. There are only as many gold ceiling stones as there are characters to recruit. Changing the contents of gold ceiling stones. Contents of the gold ceiling stones that you already own will be changed when you obtain a new gold ceiling stone. If you aren't happy with the contents of a stone you obtained, you can either acquire another or load save data from before you obtained said stone and try again. <laughs> it's, it's encouraging save scumming. Ah, let's just see what everything does. I... Gold ceiling stone. Who am I gonna get? Princess Alpin. And her dress up. What is what is going on? I feel like I'm playing a gotcha. I just rolled and got Alpin. Alfin has entered the Reverie Corridor. She can now aid her allies in battle. Spe set special party members in, ta in the tag-along slot. And use their brave orders in battle. Um, they'll even be able to join you on United Fronts. Okay. About tag-alongs. Characters found in, in Ceiling Stones can only join the party in the Reverie Corridor. They can, however, provide orders in Zamoria and the Reverie Corridor by equip by being equipped to a tag-along slot. That's awesome! So, even if, like, they have nothing to do with my story, in the main story, like, I'm, I'm playing as the SSS, and I'm in Crossbell, I can still use a Princess Alpha in order? That's really cool. This allows them to be part of the United Fronts as well. Okay, that allows us to do a United Front anywhere, then. More characters will be able to join the party through Ceiling Stones as the story progresses. She can, she can also be set as a tag-along. So, I think it was one of the D-pads. Oh, hold on. St. Astrea's three most beautiful maidens are reunited and together at last. How wonderful! I have to admit, the idea of you fighting on the front lines does make me a little nervous, Your Highness. You don't have to worry your lovely little head about me. I've been practicing with an orbital staff so I can hand it, so I can handle myself. I don't intend to be a liability to our friends. So let's all do our best part or do all our, our our part to help. Of course, glad to. I got a mission completed. It was one of the D-pads. Yeah, this one here. This is the tagalongs. How do I go to the extras? Is extra something else? And which is a... Uh, how do you activate like tagalongs? It would be here, right? Maybe... Oh, there you go. Uh, so I can... Okay, so... Her order is magic. It's CP plus 80? Holy hell! It costs 6 BP, so unless I raise that max BP like I had already chose to do, I will be able to use max C, uh, CP plus 80. Magic attack absorption, 20% absorption, chance for 12 turns. I don't care about that, but the CP plus 80 I love. Okay. Can't wait to see what I what else I get.
<laughs> we'll do that instead. All right. Um. Uh, if we can use her in battle, right? Yes. So what does she do? Detector Y. Uh, so an analyzes an enemy, which doesn't matter. Makes them weak for two turns. Doesn't matter. Speed of uh, speed large effect down for four turns. That's seventy. No, that's the same thing as attack. So that's a. Uh, uh, 15, 30, 45 percent, 45 percent speed debuff. If I recall correctly, it's the same as attacks. Um, so 45 percent for four turns with a delay plus six. Delay plus six is pretty big, but this uh, this skill sucks in every other way, though. The speed down is actually really good, but the f you know how off. You know how incredibly hard it is to get a status effect off on, on like bosses, cause they resist everything. Uh, I generally don't care about putting status effects on like regular enemies because like they're easy enough to kill. Um, only fearsome foes are like I I, I do kind of I do care, but yeah, like it also doesn't really. It's not the biggest deal in the world because I know I can take them down pretty easily. Purity rate, D power, so it's bad damage. Cannot break, cannot unbalance. It's a large set AoE, 60% chance. This sucks. Uh, the Royal Cheer. Large, large plus a self-centered AoE. Uh, speed up, medium effect, uh, 30%. Four turns by giving CP plus 40. See, this is actually good. This is pretty good. Also, it costs 60 CP. If it counts yourself as well, I don't know if it counts Alpha and herself. I doubt it. Uh, but if it does, then she refunds actually 40 of the 60 CP. So this will actually be 20 CP only. But I doubt it. Her S-Craft, full screen, physical immunity. Ooh. And magic reflect for two turns if you use it at 200 CP. Um, but also gives you CP plus 30 for three turns. This is actually really good, but um, it it basically does what Elliot does um, in some ways, but without the heals, and I am uh, not a big fan of that. Yeah, nothing great. the The order, yeah, for sure, put her on the tag along and leave her there. Um, I do have a red sealing stone, so let's use it and see what this is. I forgot what this uh, uh this is. The mini- oh, mini game. Magical Alyssa LS is now available. Now we unlock that cube that I saw. View daydreams that un that include mini games. I hope that there's a reason for me playing these mini games and it's not just for fun, because I, I don't ever want to play mini games. New mini games can be discovered through red ceiling stones. And usually mini games in at least the Trails series. Sorry. Uh, they're usually not that great. The snowboarding one, I will say, that is the best minigame. Um, and the only good minigame in the entire series. Silver Ceiling Stone. Oh yeah, this is to get really good items. With an SR guarantee. Yes. Get to the uh, you can get like recipes and crap like that. Uh, Aerial Dust R. Coral Bracelet CO2. Pretty good, I gotta put that on. Forte SR, okay. And an outfit for Elliot. Okay. Before I just keep rolling to see what I get, I really want to check everything out. Because I also wish everything said new on here. Because I, I will forget everything I had. It's a plus 45 in strength and stuff. I already have the coral bracelet, so it's something I already had. I think it gave me a coral bracelet, right? I think so. Um, I get a, ca a costume for Elliot. Um, his outfit already right now that isn't that great. Military uniform. Uh, this is worse. Um, and I got uh, oh yeah, some really good ornaments. So instead of burn. I got zero L cannon R. Oh wow, I don't didn't know I got that. 
We're gonna put CO2. And, uh, Ash. You can take that off for now. And you can put Burn on. Oh, Fire Bell's right here. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. Drag Dragon Vision automatically ana analyzes enemies that you defeat. That sucks. Strength and Arts Attack plus 40, though. That's nice. I got MP2. Or maybe I already, or, or already had that. because got 0 out of 1. It's probably uh, something that is on uh, Alpha, and that's why. Yeah, yeah, it is. And that's where I got the Zero L cannon. Okay. The Zero L cannons. Okay. Uh, it doesn't give Arts Attack. It gives Strength. Okay. Um, let's save and let's check out what else I get. This literally feels like a gotcha game at, the, at this point. EP charge three, two of them, nice. Um, petrify two, that's nice. Rider goggles, mute three, very very nice. Um, rainbow hair for Kurt. Okay. Good ornaments, accessories, and uh, good ornaments and costumes. Okay. Let's go check that out. Let's go check out the costumes we got for Kurt. Rainbow hair. Which is, it should be the same thing from the, from Coastal 4, yeah. And we got Rider Goggles. Which I don't really want to put on. And we got some really good ornaments, so I just got Seal 2, but... Petrify 2 is nice. Mute 3 is very nice. Very, very nice, actually. I'm gonna put that on. It's also gonna give strength... But instead of you having it, Rain, I'm going to give that to uh, to Ash. So he can get some. He's supposed to be the one with all the damage here. I mean, of course, Rain will get big damage too, though. And, Um, we'll take off the action two for, uh, Ash, and we'll put Petrify two. Extra strength, we'll lose the speed, but that's alright. We, that was just temporary. So now we got a bunch of strength boosters on, and at the same time, oh my god, I, got, I gotta remember not to do, um, a strength buff effect on, uh, Ash's first turn. I keep doing that. Um... I gotta S-Craft the first minute I, I, I jump into the fight with him. Um, yeah, a bunch of strength boosters and a bunch of opportunities to uh, apply a, sort, a certain status ailment on the enemy. I gotta remember that, uh, remember that this game is in two arcs, so once I finish off, like, my, my Class 7 side, I gotta go to, like, SSS side. Which I can do a little bit of, like, right now. So, like, for example, he can take the, uh, CO2, Lloyd. Oh, no, no, I'm sorry, burn. Um. And we need breakers. We need a breaker up here. I need another sword breaker. Yeah, I need a sword breaker. Uh, the shop is right here. Alright, we're gonna take off Dragon Vein. And put that sword breaker there. 
Any better earth ability here? I don't even have Petrify 1. Uh, instead of Septium Vein... Ah, uh, leave it. Uh, I think it's... The, the effect of it's not too bad for now. Um, Shield Breaker impedes okay. Mute. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I already put that on. I'm sorry. I'm going crazy. I'm not used to seeing the blue text so far. I'm sorry. I'm not used to seeing the blue text. It's just when I see it in gray, I'm like, okay, I definitely don't have that. But when I see it in blue, my mind doesn't comprehend that fast enough. No, I think for now, we're okay. We'll leave him as he is. Oh, yeah, and also... What does dismantling equipment? We got this extra one here. What does this do? Oh, it just gives you material. Oh, okay. Sure. That's gonna be better than getting money. You can get Sepith Mass at any time like this. And uh, you can buff like your breakers here, right? Yes, you can. You can get Sword Breaker 2 as an example. You just have to buy more. But, uh... We're gonna... Oh, I could just open, like, 10? Okay. I was about to say, do I gotta, like, look at all of them at, like, <laughs> one by one? I got a Mohawk. Curia SR. Got, uh, I got two ex, uh, two co um, two customizable options to check out, and that's it from here. I don't care about the rest. Two customizable options are right along Mishi, which I actually had this on. Uh, I feel like I had that on Tio, maybe it was. Uh, I forgot who I had that on. I had that in an early game. And Rock and Mohawk. Oh, I see. I mean, it doesn't even match the hair color. I'm all good. And let's go ahead and activate these six silver shards. Whoa, you can get URs? I got Heat Up UR, which uh, is a pretty, like, kind of crap um, ability itself, but... Strength plus 72, EP 200. Absolutely really good. So. Instead of... Uh, oh wait. Uh, it's action too because I need... Uh, something here. I gotcha. How about we take off Impede here. Oh wait, I don't have a UR slot for him. The UR slots are currently only on, uh... On Altina. Yeah. Ah, oh, man. Um... I have to wait on that one. Well, let me see something. Can I... Can I open up a very cheap slot on Reen? Okay, uh... Yeah, I'm gonna open up a really cheap slot like this one over here. Well, which one should it be actually? Hold on. The third one. Well, that one's kind of expensive. I can swap these two, so that's all good. There you go. So. We'll put... Wait, what? 
Oh wait, hold on. I'm burned to burn to. I'm going crazy. Or CO2. It was CO2, right? It was CO. I thought it was burn. Yeah, CO2. Heat up you are. You're going to give a lot of strength. The EP does not matter whatsoever. I'm really just using it for the extra strength boost. That's literally it. Uh, the impedes, the speed ups and stuff like that. That was just there for filler until I got like enough or uh, enough sepif and enough playtime into the game where I got better uh, better stuff. All right, let's save the game. Let's check out the memories and check out the uh, mini games. Hopefully these memories aren't too long, cause like I remember the memories in Chosen Code still, uh, Chosen Code still, uh, Chosen the Sky, Chosen the Sky the Third. They took a while. Some of them were like 30 to 40 minutes. I that was a bit much. This one's buried trails, beaten trails, blaze trails. Yeah, this game very much reminds me of Chosen the Sky the Third more than anything else. Uh, but whenever I'm playing Main Story, it just feels like Code Steel. Let's see. They're in a crossbow. We can finally catch our breath. Why did they stop the, the voice dialogue that quick? I thought we were done for when our pursuers caught up with us at the Calvardian border. It's unlikely they'll follow us all the way to Crossbell. I can't stand the thorns. They don't know when to give up. That's what they call the people from... No way, no. Thorns? They didn't... No, because Thorns is not a place. It's a... Thorns was a school. Do you hate them any more or less than you hated any of the swords? I hate everyone except you figures. Anyways, let's head into the city. Time for some old-fashioned sightseeing. We both know that's not why we're here. Am I going to play this as well? Daydream, buried trails, beaten trails, blaze trails. Because if I'm playing this, that means it's going to be long. I'm really hoping these are not long, because this would take a, a hell of a lot of time. If it isn't the Star Princess, you look well this morning. Oh, hi Grace, what brings you here? There's no performance today, so you can't actually be here right now. Au contraire, my friend. I'm only here because there's no performance. Er, uh, what? I didn't realize you'd already come in, Grace. Hello there, sir. Thanks again for this. <laughs> really? I get it now. You're here to in interview Edia Orisha, yeah? Nope. Not quite. The Crossbow Times is putting together a huge feature on R and Shield as a whole. It'll be called The Miraculous Return of R and Shield. A true resistance built upon sweat, blood, and tears. I put that backwards, but that's all good. Nice, right? And you call yourself an editor with that title? I was joking. Well, at least the title. Not about the feature. The rest of the troop should be getting together soon. Best of luck with today's interview. Much obliged. I plan on promoting your performance like crazy. And that starts here. First up, the troop's newest rising star. I hope you're ready for a barrage of cues, Sully. What? No, no I, uh, I'm i not good at answering stuff. But I'm sure good at asking. You're going to have to do more interviews as time goes on. So why not get used to it? Why not get used to it with someone like me? I mean, I get that I will, but still. Come on. Let's start with you showing me how to how you practice your moves. I'm going to squeeze some real good photos out of you. Hey, stop pushing me. Aw, oh, jeez. Yeah, you, you can't just join a theater troupe and not expect to get interviewed and get your pictures and stuff taken. Back to Swim and Nadia. Okay, we've restocked everything we need. Sure is easy doing all our shopping in the big city. All that's left is to buy the latest issue of the Crossbow Times. 
Oh. They've got three and nine here, too. Huh. Guess they do. And look at that. It's an updated edition and everything. Just how well does it sell, anyways? Well, the leading lady's a real cutie patootie. So I bet it sells boatloads. You've got a lot of nerve. And the hero is so handsome and cool. I'm begging you to stop. I guess it's about them. But it's a good book. It's a young assassin and his beautiful partner betraying an evil organization and fleeing for their lives. I don't have a clue how a story like that would appeal to anyone. The poor pair are unable to escape their past as the overseer doggedly pursues them. You're still going? And after overcoming many a trial and tribulation, they defeat their true enemy and gain true freedom. Then they fall in love, grow up, have cute little babies, and live happily ever after. Now you're just making things up. The whole thing's messed up though, right? There must be some real bored people in the organization ranks to publish a whole book about us. Well, I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be a covert wanted poster, a poster so their agents know what we look like. Covert my butt. Now it's a bestseller. If it weren't for this book, we wouldn't have we wouldn't constantly have people on our tail. I don't even care about that like I do, but not the way you do. Here's my big super mega major complaint. Ah. <sighs> <laughs> Where are my royalties? Alright, well. Maybe Swin and Nadia will hit up the orange uh, hit up orange shield and they'll see Grace and Sully there. Okay, we're good to go. Now we can go out and have ourselves some fun. Or leave like we planned. I told you we're not on a vacation. We're on a job. Job schmob. If you don't take a load off at some point, you're gonna work yourself to death. You take enough loads off for the both of us. Come on. When's the next time we're gonna be in Crossbow, huh? Live a little. What's the worst that can happen if we chill for half a day? Ugh. Fine. Calvert really was just one problem after another. We could stand to get some R&R while we still can. Yippee. So, what did you have in mind? Michelin Wonderland's pretty famous. Hmm, I'd be lying if I said I didn't want to go, but it's not the top spot on my list. I'd rather go see Orange Shield. Oh yeah, they've been hitting it big across the whole continent, huh? But my guidebook doesn't say anything about them having a show today. Bet they're doing some rehearsals, though. Don't tell me. It's time to get our sneak on. <laughs> I love her little animations. They're pretty unique. Like, those, she's doing animations that I don't see the characters typically do. You know, you usually see when you play a game long enough, you see a bunch of animations just kind of recycled here and there. When it's just general dialogue. <laughs> yeah. Seems to be doing pretty well, even with Grace there. What a show! You shine like the star princess you are, even during rehearsal. C cut it out. Damn, she's like really like super lightweight because like. She must be like a paper because, like, <laughs> she was in the air for quite a while there. No cutting nothing. It's interview time. Do we really have to? You bet we have to. This here is going to be a special feature. Don't think too hard about it, okay? Just say whatever comes to mind. Count on me to make it sound good. Okay, then. Man. And if you say something kind of iffy, no worries. I can just bleep it out of existence. So go, speak your truth. That only makes me even more nervous.
And here we go. Breaking out of the air vents. Or uh, breaking through the air vents, I mean. And into the the stands. We Infiltration complete! I know it's a little late for this, but did we have to take your whim this far? Ah, don't be such a downer. It'd be a waste not to use our skills to nab ourselves the best seats in the house. I highly doubt that it's... I highly doubt that is in the Assassin's Training Handbook. Look! Someone's on stage! Oh, it's Edia. Edia! There you are! If I remember right, she's... The fervent dancer, Edia Platier. Can't believe we get to feast her eyes... Uh, can't believe we get to feast her eyes on a big-time celeb in person. Looking good, Sully. You are watching? You may have been two years removed from near-fatal injuries, but the fervent dancer has risen again. It's a miracle among miracles. They may as well start calling you the Phoenix Dancer now. Wait, that might be a good title for an article. Hehe, <laughs> I like it. Maybe you can use it for my next show, because I fully intend to give one hell of a performance. And, like the Phoenix, I shall rise from the ashes in a blaze of glory. And I expect you to keep up so you can be right there with me, Sully. For sure. Oh boy, Orange Shield's future is looking very bright indeed. You better believe it. It's our job, not just to live up to the audience expectations, but to exceed them. And now then, since you're here, it'd be a waste not to put on a little show. You up for it? Am I? My fingers are already itching to snap photos so they're, so they're raw. Yeah. <laughs> we still have not yet seen Risha. I wonder where she comes into all of this. Ooh, that's it. That's the good stuff. Man, if I was... I'd be in Michelin Wonderland. I would not want to be up here. <laughs> This is how hard she goes just for a rehearsal? She's as much of a superstar as Erebonia's Azure Diva. It sucks how neither one's been active for the past couple years. Now all eyes are on that mega movie star. Now that lady's really hitting it big. Would probably be even bigger if films started playing outside of Calvert. Yeah, and... Oh, did you see that? I really love how intense this rehearsal is. Come on out, Rishia. Oh, she's here. Okay. Man, every character in the trail series is incredibly, like, paperweight. She's here, too? W what a treat! My shutter just can't stop snapping. Doesn't say a word, just starts dancing. So that's Orange Shield's other poster girl, the Moon Princess Rishia Mao. Huh. Guess that rumor was true. She's an excessive amount of physical She has an excessive amount of physical control for someone who's just a dancer. She's the legendary Xian Show, Yin. Never thought we'd be running into someone like her here. If Edia Platier's charm is built on how she reads and feeds the audience with painstakingly practiced technique. Then Rishia Mao is built on how incredible her flow is, as complete as a complete natural. Every minute, mo every minute movement in her body is polished to the nth degree. You have to be born with skills like hers, so it's no wonder why people are drawn to her such innate beauty. What am I analyzing her for? Not that there's any point here, but that's all your field anyway, Nadia. <laughs> Look at those eyes. She's gonna go get herself caught. Murderous intent. What's up, Risha? Oh, um... It's nothing. Looks like we're gone.
I wonder how Swin controlled Nadia in that quick time. Usually that that'd be cause for an anime slap, but then everyone would have heard it. Or maybe a quick like shrug of her shoulder. Well, that's the last of the monarch's regalia out of her hands. I'm sure it won't be long before the church takes it into custody. We've spread them all we spread them out all over the place. So I can't see anyone re reassembling them and using them for evil anytime soon. That makes our ties to him as good as severed. I'm sorry about earlier. That could have gone a lot worse if you hadn't stopped me. Did seeing Yin trigger memories of the factory? Oh, she's one of the... She's just like... I think she's just like Otina and Milium then. Yeah, she's uh created. I think you were right. I've been too relaxed. It... It took all we had to run, but if I keep acting dumb, then we could be put in a position where we ran for nothing. That's not true at all, and holy hell, this guy's buff as hell. He already has his pecs for a kid. Look at that. Woo, man, this guy is packing. That's not true at all. And being a, and being a stiff just isn't who you are. I know it would throw me off my game if you were, but... It's gonna be fine. I won't let anything hurt. I'm, I'm reading like a damn robot. I won't let anything hurt you. Oh, S. Or she was gonna say Swin, I think. I don't know, she said S. I think she might've said S. She didn't say it all the way. Okay, you got me convinced. I gotta be me. And that means dumping all my work on you and getting my sleep on. At least do some of it. <laughs> so. Up for heading up to the Moon Temple? Sure. Let's hope he made it easy to find. Yeah. Well, let's get going. We're gonna con- <laughs> Yep, I was gonna say, we're gonna get confronted by Rishia. That sword's bigger than Rishia. I never noticed. I thought it was, like, close to her height. <laughs> Damn, she chased us real nice. Uh, okay, then, yeah, she's calling him S. Okay. It appears we're in the same line of work. Them's the brakes. Then there's only one way this can end. I knew some group with a grudge against Yin would, be, would send assassins after me eventually. I thought her assassin days were behind her. I thought so too. But she's rearing for a fight. Well, if that's how it has to be. Then we're gonna go hard. You'll need to. Damn, I actually gotta play this? Reduce Risha's HP to a certain amount. I wonder if any builds you might have made go into, like, your memory battles. Not that I had any builds made for Swin or Nadia, because I haven't yet been able to... Uh, controlled them outside of battles. Let's go ahead and mark her. What would what are, what was our orders? Uh huh. Um. Yeah, I'll go with Shadow Step. We got the mark. Remember, for those that weren't here, um, I think our second stream, um, the way Swin fights is a very unique where e his attacks have a chance to mark the enemy, but if you use that that specific craft, it's a it will always mark them. And when you mark them, the next attack, no matter what it is, is a guaranteed crit. Maybe not arcs, though. We gotta test that. But, um, yeah, it's a guaranteed crit, which is really, really good. And Nadia is just a regular like art attacker um i'm going to use holy breath okay now uh, let's mark Target. 
Can I nightmare burn her or burn her? E uh, yes, actually, burn high, a pretty high chance. I didn't get any though. Let's recast Shadow Step. I'm gonna get one of that. I'm gonna get one of those BPs right back. I want to mark and then S craft. Let's cast Zero L Cannon. Um, dang. Anytime I want to, like, <laughs> anytime I want to edge craft, I just. I can't. Let's cast La Forte. I mean, La Forte. Holy breath. And I do not like that she enhanced herself. I'm gonna rush. Gonna recast Shadow Step one more time. And we'll cast Mark. She's gonna S Craft. Thank you for the S Craft. I have her marked, so I think I do, right? I don't feel like I did have her mark. Uh, let's go ahead and do uh, pet boost. Oh man, but it only gives it. I, I want to also cast it on myself as well, though. And we'll Tira bomb herself. Oh my lord. Recast pet boost. Well, Mark. Ah, she's resisting everything. Man, I hate enhanced. It's like the worst mechanic they ever introduced. Firebolt. No more enhance. Thank gosh. Thank you. We're gonna use punitive pierce. We broke her and nightmared her. We have a mark on her. Okay. Gotta love the amazing cutscenes. If that was a normal fight, that cutscene would have gotten them right off a of break. One of the new one of the new worst mechanics that they've added in the game. But yeah, like, um, I really do not like enhance. Really do not like the new. I'm gonna stand up regardless of whatever. Eight, once I get a certain HP threshold, got you. Ugh, what skill? We're holding our ground for now, but the more we drag this on, the worse it's gonna go for us. Now we know why she's the legendary Shionshu. I see there's no reason to be gentle with you, so. I'll do this the hard way. You were doing this the easy way before? This is bad. Yeah, we don't even compare. I'll draw her attention, Nadia. So while her eyes are on me, you run. Try again. Remember, you can't ever leave me through thick and thin. Besides, 
Maybe we couldn't win if we were alone, but we're a package deal. Yeah, you're right. As long as we're together, we'll never lose to anyone. Because we're the most perfect team in the whole wide world. Hmm. Huh? What? Are you kidding me? I thought you were assassin sent to kill me or one of the other troop members. No, it's you who's trying to kill us. <laughs> Weapons put away. Ah. <sighs> Suddenly, I feel really tired. But damn, this is a very long memory. I am so, so sorry. I've completely misunderstood your intentions. You can't blame yourself. If we hadn't snuck inside the theater, none of this would have happened. Why did you say that? But I never even gave you a chance to explain yourselves before attacking. I'm so ashamed. Huh? You're nothing like how I pictured. You get what I mean, don't you? Yeah. I thought you would be more cutthroat. Right? But she's so nice. I'll admit, I'm more like I'm more like that when I'm on a job, but the rest of the time, yeah, this is me. I think all that dumb tension from before made me hungry. Can we grab something to eat, S? It is around lunchtime now. Should we turn back to the city then? In that case, why not go together? It's my treat as a way of apology. Yay, free food! Uh, don't splurge on someone else's Mira. <laughs> Follow me then. I've got a great place in mind. Risha invited Swin and Nadia to Long Lao where they enjoyed a meal together before retiring to one of the rooms to rest. As the three of them had similar paths, it didn't take long before they opened up to Risha and she to them. Damn, it's still going! <laughs> oh man, this game has just chosen the sky the third inside the Reverie Corridor. Literally. So, after escaping from the organization, you set off on a journey together, huh? That's kind of romantic. Sure is. I'm glad you get it. If you think constantly being on the run is romantic, then yeah, definitely. Either way, our assassin days are behind us. We're not going to let anyone tell us how to live anymore. We still haven't decided what exactly we want to do or where we want to do it, but we've turned over a new leaf for sure. No more killing. That's the one thing that we won't budge on. What about you? Well, you haven't done any work in the industry for the past two years since your contract with Hey You ended, right? Well, no. But that was mostly because things were too chaotic in Crossbow to even think about taking on work. That said, I'm aware that I'm going to need to decide what to do eventually. I can't put the decision off forever. Do you want to return to being Yin again then? I wouldn't say that. I have a whole new identity now as part of Orange Shield, and that's all thanks to someone really special to me. I couldn't bear to lose that. I don't want you to lose it either. You've got such natural talent at dancing that it'd be such a waste not to let people see it. Aw, thank you for saying that, even if it does make me blush. So, if you want to stay in Orange Shield, does that mean you're calling it quits on the whole assassin thing instead? It's not that simple. Unlike you two, I wasn't forced into that life. I inherited the job from my father and never took any issue of it. I just did what I had to do without even considering the morality of it. Even when I was taking lives. Of course, now I understand what I was doing ro was wrong. Those who take the lives of others need to carry that burden forever. Maybe that's the reason why the Yin name has been passed down the generation for so long. To keep that weight alive. With that thought in mind, I just can't bring myself to abandon it. But even though I decided that, I wanted to find my own way of being Yin. I feel like I'm getting further from an answer. What's the problem with that? What do you mean? 
you know, the direction you need to be moving in, you know the direction you need to be moving in, even if you don't know the exact route to take. So, just keep going. No one says you have to stop being the Moon Princess or Yin. But if I return to the criminal underworld with such little resolve, who says you need to go back there? You can be Yin just as you are. I can? This world just is this world isn't built on being fair. Think of evil think of evil people exploiting loopholes in the law and being protected by the same rules that should bring them to justice. In situations like those, justice alone is powerless. It's always going to have its limitations. That's where someone outside the law like Yin comes into play. You'll be one of the good guys by playing the bad guys roles. Kind of cool, no? If there really are such things as heroes who refuse to stray from the light, they'd need someone like you to turn to back them up. Someone who can do what they someone who can do what they can't. Not that I know anyone who fits that description. <laughs> Lloyd <laughs> what? Did we say something funny? I feel like you've let me see something I was missing all this time. Maybe there is something that only I can do after all. A way to help him that only I'm capable of. I never thought I'd end up having a conversation like this with two people I only just met today. Same here. And if not for that misunderstanding earlier, we probably wouldn't even be here by now. Fate's a funny thing sometimes. Yeah, I think we're all surprisingly alike. Not to mention the great meal we've got out of this. Today's our lucky day. I'm happy that I was able to meet the two of you too. <laughs> Sadly, I don't think any of this really is going to come into any play in the main story because this is all side stuff. That's what, that's what, like, uh, that's why I don't want these memories to go on as long as they already are going on. Because, like, um, I, I feel like it, this is just, like, for fun, like, like, um, for fun, um, non-canon, like, sort of stuff. Like, spin-offs. It's like I'm playing, like, a spin-off game of the series, you know what I mean? It's like, it, like, none of it has any impact of any kind at all. That's why I don't want it to be long. And also, it's going to take a long time to just get back to the main story. This is all just side stuff. Well, it's about time we got going. We got places to go, but I sure wish we could have talked some more. I wish we could have... I wish we could have, too. It's fascinating how we took different trails in life, even with how similar our paths are. That, and it makes me a little sad to think that we may never walk the same trail again. That might happen, but who knows? Maybe it won't. Life's funny that way. RX? What's that? I'm glad they said that because I don't know what that meant. Hopefully for completing this, just like in Chosen the Sky the Third, we gain like really like good, a good accessory or something out of it. Because if it's for fun, I don't know if I want to... <laughs> I mean, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm streaming. If if I wasn't streaming, I'll be honest, I'm, I, would not, I would not even bother. But it depends on if we get rewards or not. Phew! Always with the tough questions. She's one dogged reporter if there ever was one. Still, quality stuff. I'm sure the feature will work wonders for our PR. Um, what is that? A mask of... From what? That looks like the Blue Blanc mask, but, uh... It's definitely a little bit different. And there's the end of that. Daydream. Buried trails, beaten trails, blaze trails. Trails, trails, trails. 3,000 Mira as a reward and obtained the first time bonus Moon Lens. And Rishia's performance attire has been acquired. So yeah, we do get rewards. Good, good, good. Because like, if, if you got nothing out of it, I, it's, it, it's, it would actually be very difficult to justify even wanting to spend 30 minutes viewing this. Even if it's funny 
or very interesting. But the thing is, at the end of the day, it's where this all is is being in the Reverie Corridor is just like a little spinoff. None of this is like canon. None of this is really going on. So, yeah. Anyways, what did I get? I forgot. Oh my god, I got some sort of orbman, didn't I? Moon lens. EP50, art attack 20. Displays unanalyzed information and enemies and chests show up on the map. Definitely nothing great. Don't need that. We got an outfit for Risha, which is the outfit uh, on the stage, which I don't want to put on. But just so you guys can see it. There it is. I'm going to stick with the Moonlight Wedding, though. All right. And, uh... Let's try out the minigame. Oh, same thing with the minigame. I hope that there is some sort of reward for playing this stuff. You can spend a lot of your time here, like, literally just wasting... Wasting it <laughs> if you didn't got, like, anything worthy out of anything. Magical Alyssa LS. Let's see what this is. <clears throat> okay. We got a little op a little dialogue to this. Long ago, a battle took place between the Dark Prince who sought to invade the human world and three magical girls who wished to protect it. It was a fearsome clash of power and passion, might through miracles, but the opposing side soon came to a mutual understanding. The Dark Prince agreed to halt his advances, returning to his realm and leaving humanity to their own devices. Time passed. The Underworld's Dark King had breathed this last, leaving the Dark, princess to the Dark Prince to rise and assume the throne. His first course of action was to extend the peaceful hand towards the humans, yet his intentions were short-lived. The Dark Prince's heart hungered for supremacy, and to that end, he led the Underworld army to storm the human world. The magical girls would not stand for this, of course. Their souls alight with the desire to save their home, the three ventured into the Underworld to stop him once and for all. We finally found you, Reen. Why now? Why attempt something so heinous after all this time? I would love to get these outfits. Stop this awful invasion and come back to school to us, where you belong. Heh. <laughs> Dark Prince Reen. I will not allow I will I will allow not one soul to stand in the way of my domination. Now be gone! Eek. Ugh, such power. He's far stronger than he was in our last battle. Inus, Enia. Oh, it's them. Hey, I would love if they're here, then that means there's a there's a chance that they could be uh, unlocked as a party member in uh, the ceiling stone for the gold ones. And also, speaking of gold, they have gold armor this time around. They they don't have just t just the typical silver uh, the silver knight armor. This looks better, though. Your Highness, we are at your command, sire. Cut down these magical girls for me. I will be returning to the Infernal Castle. As you wish. So that's the outfit. The outfit that Reen has on is the outfit that I used in Code Code 3 and 4. With pleasure, your Highness. No! Stay with us, Reen. We have to let him go, Alyssa. We've got bigger things to worry about. His underworld army is approaching. Curses! We're no match against an entire army! Then we should retreat. Alright, I've got a teleportation circle ready to go. Hurry, Alyssa, into the circle! Not so fast. You'll stay right where you are. Ack! Alyssa! What are you waiting for? Go ahead without me. But... You know I wouldn't say that if I didn't have a plan. We'll see each other again. Promise. Alright. I trust you. We better find you in the in the human world soon. My. Are we noble. I pray for your sake that your words aren't those of a fool's. I don't know how much longer I'll be able to last. Oh, 
Love shooting star. Instead, we got fallen love star in the text. Uh, why do you, why do you change the name of stuff that's clearly in English? Okay, we got a whole opening here. Options. Aim assist. Whoa. What's going on? View the controls. Let me see. Oh, this is actual 3D. I thought this was gonna be like some little like 2D pixelated game. You move with the left stick, A to shoot. You can hold down for rapid fire. The girls have unique shooting styles, so like a bullet hell, basically. Press L to swap your girls. Press R to skirt spin. Roll around to move faster. Gain temporarily invincibility the instant that you press the button. Okay, I gotcha. It's pretty simple stuff. Let's play. I'll leave everything as it is. Episode 1, New Generation, normal. If it's like a bullet hell, I'm pretty good at those, but obviously this is like some... I see what this is like. And can I use the D-pad instead if it's like a bullet hell? Because analog stick uh, on bullet hells is weird. To me, at least. Thanks for tagging along on the shopping trip, Muse. Look, they have uh, black outfits instead of the blue ones. Not at all. I was just thinking of updating my wardrobe. I almost never take off time for myself either. So when you made the suggestion, I thought to myself, now's the time. Huh. That was Alyssa, wasn't it? That gorgeous, popular upperclassman? The one who's the next grade up? Yeah, her. Do you think she needs help? It's almost It almost looked like she was running from something. You know... I have heard that she's been talk that she's been taking a lot of time from school off these days. Maybe something unusual is going on. It's gonna bother me until I know she's okay. I think. Ah, ah! We should be safe here, right? We should have lost her by now. I wouldn't be so sure. She's Mona Fi Trouble. Oh, instead of Mishy, it's Mona on her shoulder. He's right. You can't escape me that easily, magical girl. Ugh, you're so stubborn. I already told you to quit following me. Just who are you anyway? Oh, look at this. I am Magical Darkness. I'm one of the elite forces who serves Dark Prince Reen. Magical, magical Alyssa, I've come to your world to reclaim the gem you stole that acts as one of his highness seals. Goodness, we've stumbled upon quite the scene, haven't we? But oh, what are they even talking about? It sounds like something out of a book to me. It's Alyssa, but who's that weird looking kid dressed up for Hala? Uh, uh, uh. We need to be quiet. We could get in trouble if anyone finds us here. Okay, she was like holding her mouth to, to be uh, to stop her from talking too much. And talking too loud to be heard. Hurry and transform. I wish to see just what kind of power repelled my prince long ago. Even if it was just a fluke. I... I would, but... Uh... See, I told you not to go outside in your current condition. I know, but I... I couldn't stand around and do nothing. Oh, wait, that's not Mishy. That's the... <laughs> that's, I don't know why I said Mishy. That's a, a little thing on her shoulder. So you won't transform. Or rather, you can't. Is that it? Then do as I say and hand over the gem. And if you refuse... Only death and eternal darkness await you. N no I'll never give it to you. It's far too precious to me. Then you leave me with no choice. Farewell, magical Alyssa. Darn it! I only managed to... I barely... I only barely managed to dodge that. If she gets a direct hit on me, I'm done for. Alyssa, behind you! What? No, I won't be able to... Ha! Yuna took it for her. An intruder? Who dares to stand in my way? Ouch. Alyssa, are you okay? I like how she says if I take a direct hit, I'm done for. But Yuna, a human being, takes the hit, can survive. Hey, I know you. You're in the tennis club. Good grief, Yuna. Do you know how dangerous that was? You could have been seriously hurt. Haha, <laughs> I know. What can I say? 
My legs were on the move before my brain could tell him to stop. What's your game, human? Why are you protecting her? From what I can tell, you're too weak to be one of her friends. There is no game. It's just seeing you two fight reminded me of this thing that happened a long time ago. It was when the town was in trouble. Me and my little brother and sister were about to be attacked by this huge monster. When a magical girl in pink swooped in to save us in the nick of time. That sounds awfully familiar. I thought we were done for. I was scared stiff. But when she showed up and protected us all, I could think all I could think of was she was a total badass. She looked so amazing in that moment that I couldn't get her out of my head afterward. Before I knew it, I was completely obsessed with who she was and all she stood for. She made me want to become a person who can help others when they need someone most. And what do you know? Alyssa needs someone. So why can't that someone be me? Maybe I am weak, but there's gotta be something I can do. I just know it. Yuna. I... I don't know what to say. Look, the Arcus 2 is resonating with them. Resonating with them. What the heck? That stuffed animal talk. And hearing it is rather creepy at that. Creepy? Wait, forget that. The Arcus 2 rea is reacting to you two. The Arcus 2 reacting to you two is a mona is a monumental deal. Monumental, monumental. It means you've got what it takes to become magical girls. Real magical girls? Is that true? Is it ever? What do you say? Will you become magical girls and help protect the world from Demona Sea Rain? Demona Sea, Demona Sea Rain that r threatens it. If you do, I'll give you Arcus 2 units of your own. It's cutting edge transformation tech too, so don't miss your chance. Don't make it sound like you're bribing them. And don't make it sound so cool either. We can't let these poor innocent girls get caught up in any more danger than we've already put them in. I'm down. You are? None of this makes a lick of sense. But if it means I can protect people, then throw all the danger that you want my way. Well, if you're sure, as long as it is what you want, then I have no reason to stop you. Let me give you both what little power I have left now to help you in your debut. Great. Between her power and me mon mon monitoring you, you'll be A-OK. -okay. Now, take these Arcus 2s and we'll jump right to it. Sounds legit to me. It does not. Shouldn't we? Hey, if they if they have outfits, that means we, those are potential costumes we could get. I feel like that outfit was in Code Still 4. Not that one, though. Well, maybe it, it was, but I never bought all the DLCs. Whoa, we really transformed. Must I also be forced to transform? Get a load of this unstoppable monolithic trio. Magical darkness. Better say your prayers, because you're donezo. That's a lot of smack talk for a cotton ball who's not even doing anything. It's true that I did not anticipate facing more than one magical girl. I'll have to resort to using my full strength. Open dark dimension. Whoa, we got her noble phantasm activating. <laughs> What's going on? How do we go from some abandoned fa how do how do we go from some abandoned factory to here? It's almost as though we're in another world. Careful, girl. Careful, girls. This is an alternate dimension made from mana. All pandemonium could break loose in here. Pandemonium. Pandemonium. You'll see. In the name of his highness, and for the sake of the underworld, here is where you shall breathe your last. Not if I have anything to say about it. I plan to protect our world for a long, long time. Let's roll, Muse. <sighs> I suppose there's no turning back now that we're in this deep. Let's see this through to the end, together. That's the spirit. Dang, this is just like a memory. It just takes, like, give me a whole like 20 minute cutscene. And I just read this, so I, I got it. Magical Yuna, the magical girl of courage. Special shot, magical Excel spark. 
unleashes a magical, a massive electrical attack before you, dealing constant damage all over the place. Okay. A bold and balanced shooter, a bold and balanced straight shooter in life and in battle. And Muse, magical Muse, the magical girl of love. Special shot, magical Galaxia hearts. Fires a rapid volley of giant shaped shots before you. A pretty powerhouse armed with the power of love. Okay. Guess I'm playing them too. Okay. Oh, I go up and down too. Okay, I gotta get, like, the control of this. Okay, that's that. Okay. And Muse? Muse does some pretty good damage. Okay. Woo, I almost got hit there. I thought, was, I thought this was going to be more like a bullet hell, going left and right and hitting things and killing it in like one single hit, but definitely not. I'm pretty good at bullet hells. I love bullet hells. Special shot. Collect SP, which I've been seeing my gauge build, by shooting down enemies and etc. Once your SP gauge is full, press ZR to unleash a special shot. These negate enemy attacks while causing massive damage. Okay, let's test it. It just shoots by itself, so I'm just going all over. I'm just aiming it all over. All right. Oh snap. Here we go. Let's activate Galaxia Heart. Oh damn, I wasn't doing any damage there for a sec. Big effect. I'm glad that it negates uh, attacks directing towards me. And no, I cannot use the D-pad. I should test out Yunus. I'll test out Yunus in a second. Once I get it filled. There we go. Holy crap. Holy crap, and you can shoot while... Okay, that one's better. You can shoot while that you're negating everything on screen. Hold down the B button and release it to unleash a charged shot. These can break through enemy shields, but they'll also cre create enemy shots that are... Uh, that also erase enemy shots that are touched. Okay. Okay. I should charge it anytime there's like a brief period of nothing like this. Activate this. This thing is so good. Okay. Uh, did I just hit damage cap? I wonder if you hold it up and let it go for a little bit, if it does more damage than a normal sh Okay, it does, yeah. What is that?
Okay, pretty easy stuff, I gotta be, be honest, so far. At first, I, I like Muse's shots, but I kind of really like uh, Yuna's now, especially with that uh, special shot. I didn't think you would make it this far, but no matter how far you go, I'll go farther. I stop at no I stop at nothing to get the seal back to the. Wow, her man is rising like crazy. I love how I cut her off. Th that doesn't sound good. It certainly doesn't. You okay, Alyssa? I'm here to save you. Oh, I'm so glad you're here. It's Fee? Kitty Ninja Fee? Kitty Ninja Fee. Sup. <laughs> Sup. I like the outfit though. Cool. A ninja. I always thought they were made up. Who are they anyway? They're brand new magical girls. And you've got to help them, Fee. Lend them your strength. Sure thing. If it means I can go home sooner, I'll lend you whatever help you need. Uh, assist. It's this gauge for any guy or gal pal will, fa will fill with time. One full, press the X or Y button to activate assists. You can then enjoy some bonus effects until the gauge is fully drained. Um, so like for example, if he... Um, gain stealth, invincibility, and shooting power up, as etc. For her, it's gain stealth, invincibility against enemy attacks. Okay. If you have any other gal, gal pals waiting around, they'll swap in upon you using an assist. Okay, so it'll... Uh, okay. Alright. Gal Pal Kitty Ninja Fee. Um, assist gains... I just read it, yeah. A clandestine guardian who invades... Who evades with a myriad of clones. I guess hitting the enemy, uh... Uh, raises that up. The assist gauge. Right, let's try this. Okay, there's a bar. I was about to say, how long does it last? There we go. Oh my god, it didn't act it doesn't activate immediately. And I wasn't even shooting anything there. Okay. Okay. Let's activate this. Should take her out with this. Yep. GG's. I only, th I only got hit one time there. Yeah, I got... Okay, you get silver shards out of this, so... I'm gonna get... One... Three... Six... Uh... Uh... Oh my god, eleven... Um... Oh my god, ten... Fifteen, yeah, fifteen. I cannot count up. Um, enemies fell, damage bonus... Okay, it's... Uh, the results are by how many enemies you took down... And... I guess how much damage you... Didn't take? Okay. And of course, how many... And hitting them puts up a damage score, so yeah. Uh, silver shards obtained. Oh, no, you're not getting 15. You're getting 5 only. I thought you were getting all of that entirely. Oh, god damn it. I hope we get more than just that. Because, damn, just for 5 shards that I could just easily get in a normal fight, like in the field, and in the dungeon, like, th there's no point. 
Ugh. I can't believe I... I lost. Thank goodness it's over. I hope you've learned your lesson. You better not mess with Alyssa again or else. I said that so terribly. I'm so sorry for that terrible... I said that so like... Like crap. That was some crap acting. If I can't complete my objective, then there's only one thing left for me. Kill me. You said or else, right? So do it. What? No. We fought. Yeah, but I'd never go that far. But if I can't return Prince... Prince... If I can't return Prince Reen to the way he was, then what point is there in living? Back up a sec. What's this about Reen? Why would you want to know? Just tell me, please. I suppose I owe, you, I owe you that much as the loser of our battle. Ever since I was little, I have dutifully served the Dark Prince. Lonely as I was, he lived among humans for several years. It made his return to the Underworld a few months ago much more, enjo much more joyful. He was the kind, warm prince I remembered, until he wasn't. Overnight, he became a cruel tyrant. I was sure it had something to do with the lost sealed gem. When I got a lead on where it was, that's when I learned of magical Alyssa. I... I had no idea that what was, what was going on with him. Um... This might be a dumb question, but is this Reen you're talking about the Reen from school? It's a pretty rare name. They're the same person. The Dark Prince attended the same school as us when he lived in the human world. No joke? It explains why he stopped coming to school, though. I just thought he transferred out or something. It's difficult to him. It's difficult to picture him as the prince of the underworld of all places. I'm glad you told me all of this magical darkness. I feel better now. Better? Why would any of that make you feel better? It's because I have finally some something concrete on what happened to him. And since you were such a big help, would you like to join us, magical darkness? You want me to work with you? Why? You and I both know there's something wrong with how Reen is acting now. There's got to be more behind his reason why his personality changed so drastically. I want to return him back to normal too. He's our classmate. We can't just leave him alone when he's suffering like this. Besides, there's no better way to keep the Underworld Army from invading the human realm than to save him. Do you expect me to take you at your word? Then again, I heard from the princess who kept him in close contact with him that he was friendly with those magical girls. I thought that it sounded too far-fetched, but maybe it was true after all. His choice in female friends leads me to believe he was inappropriate with his relationships in the human world as he was in the underworld too. Excuse me, Mona? I said nothing. Alright then, if that's how you feel, then let's work together. Wow, you did it, Alyssa! Yeah, you're amazing! This makes for a wonderful little happy ending. Guess we're letting bygones be bygones, huh? Works for me, but uh, should we still be calling you Darkness if you're not so dark now? True. Please call me Altina. Okay then. Welcome to the team, Allie. That's not what I said. That was way too long for a minigame. Next time on Magical Alyssa. And so Muse and I made our debut as Magical Girls. I'm pumped up to fight day in and day out to keep those underworld demons from invading. I get the feeling I get the feeling Muse's less into it and more just rolling with it though. Whatever. It's not like I got time to figure her out. I've gotta focus on the next big threat that's rearing to take us out at the mall. Stall Ritter Strike. Damn. I did not expect to take two whole hours on just the Reverie Corridor stuff. Dang. Just for five freaking shards, man. That's so garbage. Okay, the game had to shut me up. <laughs> but if it was just for five shards... I'd be honest, I would not even play the game any, any, uh, play that mini game any further. I got luck. Um, I got the magical costume set one. Fee's costumes, attachments, and items can be equipped when she's part of the party. 
Is that just for feed, though? If it's just for feed, that means there's going to be a hell of a lot of episodes. If there's a bunch of characters that are already introduced to us and a lot of other characters that are still yet to be unlocked. I'll check them all, though. How do I zoom out? I forget how to do this stuff. Okay, here's Magical Darkness. Okay. I gotta admit, it, the Eastern Word just looks so good, though. But let's check out the Magical Tiara. That's a tiara, I guess. Nah, the Jingasa is so good, though. Oh, uh, uh Alfin actually has, uh, outfits, though. A royal dress and a Straya uniform. I prefer the dress. Here we go. Magical Yuna. Um, we got her schoolgirl uniform. It's just... It's just her branch uniform in black. Ah, oh, there's some extra tidbits. To the, the bottom, at least. Not the top. Um, and Magical Yuna's outfit. What did I... I had a uh, travel wear on her? Yeah, I still like that better. Muse also has, uh... Her school uniform. Ooh! This one's better. Magical Muse. Oops, I'm sorry. Ah. Uh, uh, I like this a lot. I really want like some sort of like oh magical twin tails. Uh, I want something on her. Uh, I want to put something on her head. I like this outfit. I think it could be better if I. <laughs> there you go, perfect. It could be better if I. Oh, it does change colors. It just goes with the natural hair color. I'll give her a ride along, Mishy. I feel like it just matches. But I really want to have her have a. Uh... I really want her to have uh, like a really like a decent hat, a hat size. Holy crap! This is like way too close to this girl. And uh, oh wait. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I already saw Tina. I don't have Fee though, so that's why. I haven't seen Fee in the story. Anyways, we got Luck Orbman. Luck Orbman, I'll be honest, isn't good. Um, but it does give some pretty... They made it so it gives a lot of stuff though. Defense, Arts Defense 50, HP 500, EP 50, Accuracy 25. It's just item drop rate 50% up. Nothing really great. Um, anyways, let's just do our main story and start getting out of here. What are the two of you, what are the two of you two up to? We were just having a conversation and then Vantage Masters came up. Oh god, I'm not, I'm not touching this, I'll be honest. I'm not, t this is a 20 minute mini game. I, I, I don't, I don't enjoy it. She's teaching me the ins and outs. Oh yeah, it's pretty popular over in Erebonia, isn't it? Kia made me play it last year, actually. Oh, you played before? I'm hardly an expert myself, but it's such a strategic game that it wouldn't be out of place being taught at a military academy. That's saying something. Hearing that kind of hearing that kind of makes me Oh wait, hearing that kind of makes me want to pick it back up again. Couldn't understand how they were trying to make me read that. I don't see why not. I've enjoyed playing it myself. Oh, I know. Why don't you join us? That sounds like an idea to me. I actually have a spare deck you could use. Would you like it? Are you sure? Of course, the, mer mo the more the merrier. As long as you promise to play with us to pass the time. No thanks, no promise. Of course, you have my word. You had better get those cards in order then. I'm expecting a good game or two now. I look forward to seeing what you're capable of. You can now play Vantage Masters against Ellie and Claire. And you can press the other challenge characters with the, ca with the card icon to a card game. Um... It's a very deep game. Takes a hell of a long time, though. Vantage Match is now available at the table at the Reverie Garden. 
be able to play more opponents and matches matches as you progress the story you can view what cards you currently possess and rearrange your deck by inspecting the table in the garden you can challenge opponents you've already defeated to a rematch directly at the table a lot of crap i don't care about because I, I do not care there are master missions for it probably it's just a bunch of crap a really crappy mini game All right, let's go check out. Oh wait, I forgot the. Damn it, I'm sorry. Um, I gotta put give up the shards that I got, um, from the uh, the memory or the the mini game. I mean, man, I've been here for two hours. Let's hurry up and actually progress story. Yes, get that. Curled side tail. Okay. Curled side tail. Oh, I see it. It's the uh, thing there. Gotcha. Sadly, it doesn't matter what your hair color is. It, it goes off the natural hair color. Alrighty. So, let's actually just hurry up and uh, move onward. And uh, let me hit a save real quick. And let's see what missions I've done. Uh, we used a gold ceiling stone. We got a golden bell and 50 phantasmal shards. We viewed a daydream, which is 40 phantasmal shards. And the as you are. Um, I love how it says uh, view three daydreams, two out of three. I've only seen one, though. I don't know. Um, unseal more ceiling stones. Ten ceiling stones. Win against the person in Vantage Masters. Yuck. I don't care about Prankster. And I don't care about 10 freaking Phantasmo Shards either. Thank God it's like nothing important. Uh, win against three people. You get Mute 4 though. Oof. No. Uh, no. No. Don't give in. Don't give in. Don't give in. Un unlock Pom Pom Party. Oh, I suck at that. Boost Max BP. Max bravery points have been increased. If you want to get BP7, you got to get 1,200 Phantasmo shards. Trade Zerum powder. Trade 10 Phantasmo shards for Zerum powder. This mo this mostly looks like if you if you finished everything else, you unlocked everything else, then you just get this. That's an end game item right there. Really, really good if you can just farm a hell of a lot of these. But I, I'm going to save. Like, this should be, like, last. Alright. Let's get out of here. Oh, Lloyd. I found this a little earlier. Add your droplet. Nice. Huh. I feel like I've seen similar items in the Reverie Corridor, too. I believe it's some kind of elixir only produced within the corridor. Taking a sip makes you feel as though you've gained the benefits of training without ever lifting a finger. That's pretty crazy. So is the fact that so is the fact you tried it. Still, it's incredible something like this exists. Well, I only did because I heard stories about similar things existing in Eastern folklore. Regardless, I think we should make good use of them if we come across any more. I was thinking the same thing. Thanks for finding one, Rishia. Not at all. Azure Droplets and Azure Divine Waters. I've seen a lot of droplets, but not Divine Waters. These items will grant XP to a character. Yep, I know that. Just bear in mind that you cannot use these items to, the level, to level the currently highest level character in the Reverie Corridor. Yeah, I figured that out. Which is why it's not as great as it could be. Like, I could bring people up, but not a big deal. I want to use these as well, but... I 
Uh, actually... You can take that. I like that it actually shows you the stats. 2148. Um, 2034. 1974. Yeah, this is worse. <coughs> oh, but, but Muse's is worse. And Muse is like an actual permanent party member in the main story. So let me bring her some defense. Arts attack. That's all Tina. Arts defense. That should be Ash. I'm focusing way too much on, like, class 7, but, like, yeah, I feel like with the SSS, I'm pretty confident, honestly. Um, I mean, I, I'm, I'm confident with both, but... We'll just work on... Anytime I come here, I'll, I'll just mix back and forth. I'll jump from... the. Helping at class seven, then next time I'll, I'll help on class, uh, I mean, SSS. Return to Zamoria. What you can also do is go inside there, rearrange the ceiling, uh, the reverie corridor, go to the dungeons, get, maybe grab some levels and stuff like that, but, like, you're gonna get more ceiling stones and you'll unlock more really good stuff. Huh? But I really wanna just play the story. I wanna beat the game. Huh? What were we just doing? I feel certain that something significant just happened, yet I cannot recall what. I remember us meeting with Her Highness and Representative Regnitz and resuming our investigation, but... Then, we were just about to get going, right? Right. That's the last thing I remember, too. But if that's the last thing we did, why does something feel so... off? And why do I suddenly feel so much stronger? <clears throat> Maybe there's more to this mirror here than meets the eye. Are you alright, Instructor? Sorry, I'm fine. Let's get back to the investigation. We got a lot of people depending on us for this. Right. Hopefully we can at least find one useful clue. Alright. <clears throat> the party's investigation then began anew. Green's route has been suspended for now. Other routes must be advanced but further before he could. <clears throat> Oh, okay. I guess we're on a uh, C's route now, again. Yeah, locked. <clears throat> Alright, well, let's go see what's up here. Oh, the, the little girl can fight already. We found her from, uh, inside of a briefcase. <coughs> Haim Dollar Underground Passages. Yeah, we haven't been here since, like, what, Coach Tale? Well, I mostly remember from Coach Tale 1 and 2, but I do remember it in 4 or 3, one of them. <coughs> Alright. Are we actually gonna like control them on the field now? Well, we're gonna first see who the the girl is. Like, I'm pretty sure, like I said, I'm pretty sure her name is Lapis. Yep. 
ここに来てまさかの人身売買なわけないと思いたいがそれにローゼンベルクといえば確かあのご老人のヨルブローゼンベルクその界隈では知らない者がいないほどの希代の人形技師だったな Yeah, and she's a doll. I don't know what you're doing. Yeah, exactly. Her wrists give her away. This is a person. I'm not sure if I'm a p e r She really gives off、uh, to me this old vibe of this old anime I really loved.、Um, Rosen Maiden. Rapis Rosenberg. Man, the jump animations in the Trail series just look so weird. And ever since they made this game into 3D, <laughs> well, the series into 3D. それだけじゃ説明がつかないだろうラピスと言ったなお前は一体何なんださっきから言っているじゃないローゼンベルク人形よそれ以外はそれ以外何かあるはずだお前にしか知らない情報やお前にしかできない特技がそれは出ないとおかしいだろう怪しい黒服の集団があれほど必要に狙っていたくらいだからな私はさあ何でもいい話してもらおうかスーちゃんおどうしたのアリア That that bear must weigh quite a bit She must have like rocks inside that bear. Well, I mean, the bear does explode and stuff, so I, she probably has a bunch of crap in there. To try to find this client and see what's going on. I'm going to go to the 
結果的に君の果たすべき使命とやらにつながるのではないかおそらく君の存在は何か重要な事実につながっている確証はないが私が私の目的を知っている君のことが必要になるかもしれないだが See what there is to her. Last, like I said last、uh, time, the last stream, very similar situation happened when we found Muse,、uh, not Muse, I'm sorry,、uh, Kia inside of a, a briefcase as well. She's not a doll, of course, but、um, she ended up being like the whole reason why we were able to like save the world. そんな経済的な余裕はないえー、そんないくらごねてもないものはないほら行くぞナリア待ちたまえまだ何かよ荷物はちゃんと届けたアフターサービスまではさすがに仕事の範囲外だぞ yeah, what do you need us for? 範囲外なら範囲内になるよう新たに契約すればいい<笑>どうだ私に雇われる気はないかどういう意味だ What's the pay? That's what I'd be saying. れからやろうとしていることで少々手が足りなくてね君たちの腕を見込んで私の目的が達成するまで協力してもらいたいのだよねえ仮面さん率直に言うけど怪しすぎー怪しいが顔に書いてあるような相手から依頼を受けるわけないでしょ。お、mm. お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、Handsomely rewarded. How big is the pay? How big is the pay? He was writing something. I heard that. Is it a check? Followed by triple amount upon the completion. Yeah, he wrote us a check. He just had one in his pocket, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Holy crap, you know what his, you know, the more I'm listening to his voice. He has a certain dialect that sounds like Rufus. If you listen real close, he, he has the same kind of accent deep down. And the way he speaks is the same way Rufus speaks. But it wouldn't make sense then. But it does sound like him, though. But if it is Rufus, then that probably means this route is taking place. I, I don't freaking know. It, I don't, it just sounds like him. It's probably just a voice actor voicing that role. But who knows? Maybe I'm right. Anyways, Route Act 2. Slinking in the shadows.
Yeah. And uh, Rufus also had one sword just like this. <laughs> I actually like hers. Look at the way she runs. Hell yeah. Oh, but his is really good. That one sucks. Yeah, Swins is the best. Yeah, we'll be honest. But I gotta see how, if I can make this work. We might have came from the air. No, from over there. Alright. Uh, let's actually finally modify our orbments. So, Master Quartz for C. Well, let me see what their stats are, first of all. C is a physical attacker, of course. Uh, Lapis is a physical attacker, surprisingly. So is Swin. And uh, Nadia being the, mag the arts attacker that I expected her to be. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Um, I already know Nadia's and Swin's. What about C's? Well, I knew what C's was because we saw his. Uh, but what about uh, Rapis? Um, analyzes an enemy. Balance down 100% for four turns. Defense, arts, and arts defense and movement down. Small, small effect for four turns. Pretty bad. Second craft, Adamus Ripper. Um, a plus power, A break, the unbalance, medium line set AOE, strengthen arts attack up, small effect for four turns. Okay. <clears throat> Decent. I just like it for the damage. Her order restores 20% HP and 60% damage reduction reduction for 12 turns. That's really good. Um, her S craft is 4S power. That's really good. Um, full screen, really good. Faint 100% chance. Okay. Nice. I like the S craft in the order. But she's not a very good farmer. Oh yeah, and the ordnance. Where am I going? So, we have... Let's check out the Master Chords. C has Cherub. Um... Recovers EP through attacks and crafts, 0.5% of your damage. Um, Swin has Altair, high HP increases break damage. We have Vega, which is offensive art still crit damage on Nadia. And Lapis has Talisman, which prevents abnormal statuses and stat downs, 90% chance. Pretty bad, except for that one, which offensive art still critical damage. It's basically the exact same thing as the one that uh, Altina has right now. And I feel like high inch HP increased break damage is something that someone else has. Unless it's low HP increased break damage. I think that's what it that's what that is. Um I'd rather have everyone on uh Sub Cherub. Just get some HP and EP. I'm mean, just HP back to attacking. Um, Vega. Well, except for Nadia. Nadia doesn't need that. I'm sorry. Uh, give Nadia a talisman instead. <clears throat> All right. Uh, we'll make Nadia like a support or and um arts attacker because I don't really have two arts attackers. Um, arts people here really. Yeah, not really. So, uh, and we'll have to see like the power, the powerhouse, because 2k attack right off the gate is pretty good. Um, all right. So, you have mine two. You have cast two. Um, okay, EP two. I can use that for a bit. Um, but the. Forte, yeah, that is good, yes. 
Oh, they don't share the ornaments that everyone else has. They probably don't even share the same sepif. I gotta find a good, like, offensive. Well, Zero Ken's pretty good. But I gotta find something better instead of evade. <clears throat> Let's see here. Because, come on, evade, really? Crescent Mirror, yeah, of course! Can I strengthen arts already? Or ornaments? Yes, I can. And I have just enough U material for it. There you go. Take off Evade 2 and take Crescent Mirror R. Holy Breath. Very, very good. I didn't realize that. Um, Laforte, I'm like really iffy on. Let's leave it for now. I think she's okay. Um, let's make our powerhouse, which is C here. Alright. A lot of stuff that doesn't matter. Like, I don't need EP. I don't need EP cut. I don't need mind. They want you to play him as, like, be, be like, hey, he can be a balance. But no, no, no. I don't need movement. And I don't need Galleon 4. Everything except for attack 2 can go. So, let's start buying these breakers. Shield Breaker is needed. Spirit Breaker. Sword Breaker. Let's go and add those. And a really good mind. I'm um, not mind. Uh, a really good Mirage Sepith for arts attack, uh, physical attackers. You could just take the Voice Breaker. But that, that's kind of a waste. It's not something that's going to happen that often. Um, Crescent Mirror... I mean, Crescent Mirror. Um, Arts Attacks are not something that are get thrown at us very frequently. I'd rather honestly have Confuse on. It's not going to really do anything against bosses, though. That's the thing. Let's work on that last. Give me one second. Damn, I got... Okay. I'm gonna buy the voice breaker. And I'm gonna put the voice breaker down here. I can't do much about this galleon fort being here. I don't want it. <laughs> but whatever. Attack 2 is good. Um, a really good wind. I mean, you can take Leg Breaker, but that's like really useless. Yeah, the Vade's not bad. But I will actually just take like... You can take Sleep or Blind. And I'll take sleep. Um, okay, we got three down. We, we got breakers, so let's go ahead and throw them on here. Shield breaker. Well, hold on. Well, if they use fire or earth, he does. So let's hold that for him. And so does Lapis. Okay, then he can take the sword breaker. There you go. I need to find something for cast 2 and EP2, which would be pretty easy to find. I can take, like, Petrify. I can take Nightmare. I'll take Nightmare. Nightmare and Freeze. N 
Oh crap. It's on the same line. I'm sorry, I didn't I didn't see that. Crap. Well, I can put that on them instead. <laughs> but dang. I don't have much really going here. Um Instead, we'll buy a uh, Where's speed? Action 2. And I'll put the movement to for some extra movement and hey, reach a bit further, sure. Or eh, strike is only 1% at this rate at this point, not anything crazy. That's decent for now. Um Oh, there's already strike twos? Ah, there is. Okay. And it's for it's 2%. Okay. 4% over here, okay. I like how they got their Arcus 2s. Um, you know, they have a design to it, and somehow she has one already. Somehow. Um, I guess it was just in the briefcase with her, I guess, right? Alright. I'm glad he has attack too. You have speed breaker there. I have shield breaker I can put here. Action two, I like that. Strike two is okay. Instead of evade, we can put that freeze from earlier. Actually, we'll put it on her over there. So instead of uh, evade, we'll put nightmare. And instead of a hit two, we can put a... Uh... Uh, I gotta find something. Instead of a hit two, we can take a... Seal. Alright, seal. And uh yeah, the rest of this is okay. I'll keep all I'll keep these two on. Um lapis. Um Well, this can be Spirit Breaker. This can be Shield 2. That can be Freeze, I guess. Oh, wait. But I put Shield 2. I'm so sorry. Whoops. That's backwards. This should be uh, Freeze. Not... I, I don't know. My brain right now. I saw Shield 2 and I was like, yeah, yeah, that one. Um. Okay, I get rid of these. Let's give her a Petrify for that Earth slot. Ah, crap, it's on the same line as Freeze. Then change it up. And, uh, <clears throat> there you go. Alright, I need to get... Let's bring in... She has a breaker on that line. I can put a breaker here. Mm 
Do I have the earth one? Yeah, shield breakers over here. I'm a really big fan of like the earth and the the fire one because defense and physical attack down. It's pretty nice. We'll buy that. Okay, and that kind of leaves me with these two slots here that I don't know what to put. I can put break two. It'll give me 30 strength for the time being. And uh, I could put like hit two for the time being. It'll give some critical rate. Which is not much, though. Evasion is something that's not too bad either, though. I'll go with the uh, hit, too, for now. And we'll, we'll, we'll keep it as we are right now. And I doubt that I can open up much slots because of all the oh i can actually i did a lot of spending and i thought I, th I didn't think i would be able to we'll upgrade this wind one here upgrade this one here damn nadia's has just an entire line that's one back in the day in sky and crossbell uh those games that'd be terrible I mean, that'd be amazing, I mean, to say, I'm sorry. That'd be really amazing, because you can... Spe well, specifically in Sky games, maybe not the crossbow games, but in Sky games, that'd be amazing, because you can pair one giant combo of, like, elements together to make re something really big, because that's how you played it back in the day. If you put a lot of water together, you gained... That's how you gained your abilities, so if you put, like, a certain amount of water counts together, you got heals. Put a certain amount of water counts after that, you got some water attacks. The further you got into like water, more higher heals and more higher water attacks. That's how it worked back then. But uh, I, th I think they changed up a crossbow. Now, now when there's now you want multiple lines. All right, let's go ahead and rest up. Sorry that I've been spending a lot of this stream kind of just doing not not much at all. I spent already three hours. On stuff I don't feel like I did much at all. Alrighty. Oh, nice. She's like Otina. Good to know that that's AoE. See, this is the good one here, but it's 50 CP. Nice. Okay. Hits me really hard and uh, immediately poisons me. Also, I realized they don't have the seven B. They don't have the six BP that I raised up. That's interesting. I'm right there next to the Orbman charging station. I don't know why I'm holding back. I was like, let me not do a zero cannon so quickly because that's a lot of EP, but I'm right next to the Orbman charging station, so it doesn't matter. Power shield and mind potions. Uh, I feel like it would dirty your dress. Wow, it turns into a suitcase?
All right. So her luggage is also the axe. Yeah, look. Yeah, take a look for those that didn't see. What the hell? That's pretty cool. That's a really cool anime. Ah, I like that. <laughs> I like that a lot. Oh. Thank God it didn't count as an ambush. S-Craft right out the gate. Thank you, Zero-Craft. Wow. But yeah, I was gonna say, she said in her active voice, she can, she, her axe is cool, isn't it? It lets me take down enemies with a single, with a single attack and not dirty my dress. But I mean, like, if you swung at a person, that would leave them bloody as heck. Wow. Nice. Um, ooh, Crimson Raid, pretty nice. Crimson Raid. I also gotta fix our tactics. Blood Gang Ring. <laughs> Okay. 13,000 there. Nice. Let's go see our S craft. My mirror image. Whoa, we got Hakus from Naruto. Her move, I forgot the name. Crystal Ice Mirrors. Traps you in the mirror and she just breaks all the mirrors. Okay. Or needle shot. Nice. Very nice. A rush. Got a nice zero order. Which I'll activate. Just another Crimson Raid. I'm gonna S craft the swin. I actually don't think I needed to do this, but that's whatever. I already I already did it. Nice, I'm a rush. I don't reach. Sad. Um Zero Cannon. That one. Nice. I don't gotta worry about that one over there. This one will die now. Alright. We got Swin hitting level 105 along with Nadia. Okay. We got the or uh, equipment chest, I mean. Night Gleam. Ooh, that's good, though. That's the uh, first... I read it real quick. Uh, Night Gleam, yep. EP plus 50, and your the first at attack art that you use deals 50% extra damage. Attacks and crafts can also have a chance at KOing the enemy at a 5% chance. Which is tremendous. Um, 
I would take off EP2 for Night Gleam. It'll severely reduce my EP though. And uh, now that we got that chest, let's go ahead up that Ormen charging station before we press onward. I love the way she runs. Specifically with the axe. She has that little sonic run. So let's test out this animation. Okay, it's like a projectile she can throw forward. Okay. Nice. 26,000. Those guys have a lot of HP. Hey, it's her charge attack. Twenty six thousand damage. Twenty six thousand damage thanks to the fifty percent arts attack buff from the night gleam. That's crazy. All right. All right, let's do this. Um. I doubt, yes. 40%, yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot to do my uh, tactics. Needle shoot works just fine here. It's going to crit. Nice. Now we are going to go, instead of a... A crit because every one of our attacks are crits. Um. Yeah, uh, shadow step. We'll put up a needle shoot. Get our BP. Nice. Very nice. A lot of resources just re being regained. Nice. Oh, I do got my 6 BP. So I guess it goes further than 7? Or may uh, maybe I'm going crazy. Maybe... Uh, I, I don't know. Anyways, we got some levels. Uh, Altair Master Core hit level 6. That's wins. Chrono Drive has been learned. And 45% extra break damage when your HP is high. Uh, raises your speed when the battle begins and when HP is low, two turns of a small effect. Um, Vega Master Court, which is Nadia's, learn Venom Flame. And now is a 50% chance to do uh, crit damage with your offensive arts attacks. And offensive arts inflict abnormalities at a 60% chance, a random abnormality that is. And C leveled up to level 106 and learned a craft of Zavarl. Physical, S power, D break, S unbalance, medium plus set AOE, brandish for three turns. I, for I forgot what brandish means. Um, large speed effect for three turns as well. So, it's a nice buff, but also it's an attack that's very powerful. So that's pretty good. It's probably expensive, like 60 CP probably. Well, hold on a second. We have a cutscene that's about to pop up. Potential boss battle or something there? I don't think so. But just to be on the safe side, I can just go back to my uh, Orbman charging station, recover my HP, and then press back on. I gotta have my my axe out. It just looks so so cool this way. All right, and over here we go. We should be under the capital now. We'll proceed as I outlined yesterday. If you have questions, speak now. I'm good. Me too. 
Oh no, I should have come prepared. No questions then. Ah, poor Lapis just got dropped like a dummy in a dunce hat. Huh? What's a dunce hat? Alright, just to confirm, our first objective is to gather intel on any soldiers displaying unusual behavior. That sums it up. To the letter, how we to the letter, how we proceed after that is dependent on our findings. Can I still ask questions? I'll be counting on you to ascertain their whereabouts. Hey, don't just ignore me. I also need you to be on guard for the other targets previously mentioned. You got it. I've been curious about them. Shh, there's something come. I said. Don't ignore me! As she one shots the enemy, wow. I can't believe she took out a monster that big in one hit. Rosenberg sure builds them tough. We aren't ignoring you. Far from it. We'll be depending on you a great deal. We will be depending on you a great deal in combat. He's right. I'm almost tempted to leave all the fighting to you, LP. R really? Hmm. <laughs> well, you'd be right to do so, since there are no limits to what a top notch of the top of the line Rosenberg is capable of. But um, why are you calling me LP? Cause your name is Lapis. Lapis? LP? I understand the root, but why call me it? It sounds cute. Oh, carry on then. That's all you need to be okay with it? Cute is important. If I were to rate the cuteness of everyone's names, Nadia gets 90 points. So I'm the golden standard of names, huh? Swin gets 65 points. Swin? I actually don't like that name at all. Am I supposed to be happy about that or not? And C gets a 15. Your name just your name just plain isn't cute. Hear that S? Mask here got 15. I don't even get what her criteria is. That mask is also just hideous. I'm of the opinion that you should take it off. Here, here. And tell us your real name while you're at it. I'll consider it should the need ever arise. Yay! That's one step forward. Don't fall for it. That's what they say to placate you so you'll drop the subject. Then they, do then they don't gotta do jack. Guys, the mission? Alright. I'm guessing he went up here. Oh, I can go up here actually. He's still with us. Oh, I thought he left. <laughs> Alright. I oh, didn't even get to see how much, uh... I didn't get to see how much it cost to do the, uh... Um, the new craft for C. Yeah, oh, crap. These guys have a lot of HP. Twenty one K, Jesus. Rush. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, it's eighty CP, even worse. I didn't realize he already had a 60 CP. And it's magical, why? Let's do another rush. That one died to the freeze. Alright, we got some stuff leveled again. Master Court Cherub hit level 6. Breath has been learned. 0 0.6 of your damage is recovered as EP. And recover CP plus 9 for each offensive arts cast. This is awful for him. <laughs> Talisman hit level 6. 
Um, Earth Pulse has been learned. 92% chance to prevent abnormal status and stat downs. Um, and all stats raise when your HP is low. Three turns. Small effect. Eight U materials. Level 105 for Lapis. Golden chest, there's a UR in here. Impassion. Six, uh, uh, 30 CP regen for... 30 CP regen for four turns. Strength plus 30, EP plus 120. Dang. Why did it have to give strength, though? Why did it have to give strength? <laughs> Take off the uh, hit two, I think. Let's take off the hit. Oh wait, I don't have that at. I don't have that slot open. Well, I can replace these two here. There you are. I love how it said press B to jump down, and I pressed A, and it still jumped down. Alright, Orbment Charging Station yet again. Very... Quite a lot of them here. So close to each other. Let's save. And see what's up ahead. Halt! Is something the matter? Shh. I think I hear something. Has to be like two soldiers or something, right? Heimdaller, Oss District. This is where Machias was raised, if I recall. And yeah, two soldiers. Noticed goods. Finished. Chancellor set out to. Tonight we're. Dem our anger. Okay. I have to say, I didn't expect to strike gold quite so quickly. They've got to be the guys we're looking for, right? Without a doubt. How skilled are you two with espionage? Skilled enough. Pretty bad. You just don't want to do any work. Espionage? Alright, with me, Swin. What should I do? You can be our babysitter. One babysitter coming right up. Babysitter? Wait, are you calling me a baby? How dare you? Is this... Is that a Ramda unit? Oh, wow. Holy crap. You know of them? We've seen Calvardian agents who were on our tail use them in the past. Yeah. But I thought only they had access to them. How did you get one? No way. Did a Hercules hire us? No way did a Her Hercules hire us, right? <laughs> we'll split in half to begin our investigation, then reconvene at sundown. Begin. Wow, C's actually running. Should we get going, then? Get going where? Hmm, how about we just walk around? Ooh, I'm a walking expert. I walk like the best of them. You're so adorable. Huh? Well, of course I am. Oh, here, put these on. Lapis camouflage. If we use this to hide your joints, no one will be able to tell you apart from a real human. You don't have to if you don't want to, but Mask thought it would be worth it. I forgot I had their DLC costumes as well. I gotta put those on. Well, check them out. I have forgot this whole time. I don't know. I think I'm very beautiful as I am. But I'll give it some thought. Good girl. Now then, let's move. Let me check out the... I got like DLC costumes and stuff. Lapis is Eastern Wear. Nadia's Eastern Wear. Commander C. Commander... Oh, can... I was about to say, can I do this? Cannot open until C's true identity has been revealed. 
Warrior Swin. Nadia's Devilish Summer. Lapis Magical Girl. Lapis Low Slaughterer. Got a lot for these characters. So. Um, let's zoom it out. Lapis Camouflage. What the hell happened? Oh, it's hiding the joints. I see. I see. It's hiding the joints. Yeah, like look at the arm, for example. You can see the joints. Now you don't. And on the legs as well. I can't really zoom out. I'm only right there. Look at the knees. See? I gotcha. Okay. And Lapis is Eastern. Where oh, crap. This looks freaking cool. Magical Lapis. Eh. Nah. Little Slaughterer. Oh, it's uh, Ren's outfit. But it's uh, white and purple and black. Mostly white instead of purple. Yeah, Eastern wear for sure. Uh, Nadia, let's see what you got here. Nadia's Eastern wear. Ooh, I like it. Uh, Devilish Summer, no. Alright. Commander, C we got C's outfit. Commander C, okay. Nah, would it, it looks better with it. Uh, we have, uh, Swin here. Warrior Swin. Oh my god, it looks the same as uh, everyone, everyone else. Every guy is the same Eastern wear. I, I don't like that. Alright. Let's do this. I can't swing my, my weapon here. I don't think you ever could in the, in the, the towns, though. Walk around the Oss district. Oh, over there. Name Volley Exchange, though? Hold on. Can I use these services? Oh, hey, 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 hey! Cerberus! Hello! Excuse me! A customer? If you want to buy something, take it up with Cerberus. Yeah, sorry. A customer just dropped in. Anyways, just say when and where, because I have to change my route depending on what's what. Guess she's in the middle of something. Um, who's Cerberus? Woof woof! You have got to be kidding me. Why didn't you tell me dogs can run stores? I had no idea. The Imperial Capital is so amazing. It's so full of all sorts of surprising things. Well, yeah, well, I guess you see something new every day. Yeah, you can talk to uh, Jingo. Sorry, I got my hands full here. Can't let, can't let go of the controls right now. But if you're needing something over the, of the retail variety, just ask Cerberus over there. He'll get you straightened out. Check the bargains. Nothing good. Well, let me exchange my Sepith mask for the time being. They have a lot of money. I think that's the exchange that... uh, <laughs> We got 50,000 Mira, was it? We got 50,000 Mira upon helping C out. And he said he'll triple that. 150,000 when we f when we complete the job. And depending on our performance, we'll get extra Mira. Okay. Let's see what we can trade. Okay. Can't really do anything here. It's all like really end game type of trading though. It's like you gotta get a lot of stuff. Really high level stuff. I thought Erebonia's capital would be fancier. Is this really it? Yup. But this party this part's pretty old. It's where all the commoners and laborers live. That's strange. Why do humans divide themselves up even though they're all human? Cause they're silly. Society wouldn't be able to function if they did it any other way. Are you silly too? I'm an exception. Or so I wanna believe. I like this place though. It's cool the way it all feels kinda thrown together. Life's just better when you don't try too hard. 
And this area looks like it was built with that same mindset. So simple is good? Simple is the best. The streets end up getting a unique feel to them too. There's lots of slight differences in elevation. Bunch of, bunch of ba uh, bunches of back alleys. Can't think of better, oh my god, can't think of better for guerrilla warfare or an ambush. It's a blast just thinking of how I'd use it all. Use it all for what? Like, for playing tag. Huh? Tag? Shh. Not again. It's Marcus' dad. It's time to leave, Your Excellency. Thank you. Is everything ready? Of course. Your guests said that they will be arriving soon. Then we must leave at once. It won't, it won't do to be late. The car is ready for you, sir. I won't be able to come back home again for quite some time, I'm sure. Things are about to get busy. Yeah, like I said, this is Marcus's, uh, home. The Oz District. Even though they're important people, uh, he, he said that, uh, his family makes sure to understand that they don't need to go all out to have a, you know, a lifestyle that, you know, just because you're famous, you don't need to have, like, the biggest house, the best cars or whatever. That's kind of like his, how his family views, uh, views, you know, social status. Is he someone you know? Kinda. He's really famous. He's a politician who became a governor of the city despite being a commoner. Now he straight up represents the entire Erebonian, uh, the in entire Erebonian government. Wow, you know so much, Nadia. But if he's that important, shouldn't we follow after him? Eh, following him is not going to help with what we're doing. But just who's he going to meet? They gotta be real high up on the chain to worry about being late. Well, I think we've seen enough of the Oz district. You ready to see more? Where are we going? You'll see. Just follow me. Nadia and Lapis can now tour Vesta Street. <clears throat> Alright. Oops. Uh, Vesta Street. Uh, there was a specific shop here. I forgot. Was it a Bracer Guild here? I feel like there was a Bracer Guild here. Um, but I think you also had, a Tita's, like, pa someone's parents here. Toa's parents or something. Oh, did I not take off the outfit for Swin? Whoops. Oh! I see. Yeah. I gotcha. That okay. We saw that earlier, but we didn't know what he was noticing. Interesting. Hame Dollar Vesta Street. But I want to know did he know who his name was? Doors Class 7 is here after all. Huh. So he knew them. Okay. I mean, Brain and them are pretty famous now, but like... There, there could be some ties there. Alright, time to have some fun and go see the sights. I thought we were supposed to gather information. We can do that on the side. This place is more lively compared to the last one we were in. Well, yeah, it's a shopping district. You can buy all kinds of stuff here. Was there something you needed? Nope, not a thing. Oh. But we're going shopping anyway. Oh. I can't pass on shopping in the capital just because I don't need anything. I read, a, I read a guide on the city from front to back in the bookstore, so I know all the top spots to hit up. Let's spend some Mira. Alright. Um... Yeah, Herschel's general store. Okay. 
Foresta Tavern and Inn. Um, let's see what we can get here. I doubt we're gonna get recipes for them. Um, for us the soup. Okay. Nothing interesting here. Let's go to Herschel's general store. You go so freaking fast with the high speed. Just because the camera gets... The camera movement gets doubled. I don't like that. I know, I know Toa's likely fine, but with how much things have gotten out of hand... Ah, uh, sorry. Welcome to Herschel's. Actually, if you don't mind, my niece has gotten herself caught in that mess over in Crossbell. I know she can handle herself just fine, but I can't help but, I can't help but think about if she's alright. Then why worry? If you think she can handle herself just fine, she must be fine. Haha, <laughs> thanks miss. That means a lot. Alright, I need to keep focused during work hours. If there's anything in particular that you're looking for, let me know. Um. I don't think I have any accessories with these characters. So, let me make sure that they don't come with any. Uh, she has Baron Bear, which is Nadia only accessory. Which is actually really, really good for her. Um, so in that case, I'm gonna buy a yellow pendulum for her. That's really, really important. I'll buy a green pendulum. Red. We'll buy... Yeah, this is what we're going to do. You can take a red and a green. You can take the yellow. You can take a red and a green. Because I like... These debuffs are like the, the really dangerous ones. And also... There you go. Uh, but yeah, we're good now. But yeah, I, I wasn't there like uh up here there was something, wasn't there? Yeah, bracer guild right here. Uh, hold on, this is the bracer guild. That's about the last building we should be wandering into. Yep, I knew it. I was right. Alright, anyways, let's go into, uh, well. Fresh juice, nope. La Fight Bakery. No trip to Heimdaller would be complete without a stop at this excellent bakery. According to whoever, whoever wrote the guide. Humans die if they go too long without food, don't they? That sounds very inconvenient. We do, but we don't just eat to survive. We don't eat just to survive. We do it because it's fun. Food is an art. I don't agree with that. I don't agree with I eat because it's fun. If I had a choice, I would not eat because <laughs> that's a lot. That's money and it's time I don't want to spend. But the Nadia, I guess that's what she thinks. How is it an art? You're confusing me. Hmm. Maybe it's just one of those things that go over a doll's head. Don't agree with Nadia there, but... <laughs> barkeep, one bread, mishy, and a drink. Um, I'm not a barkeep, but you got it. Would you like that for here or to go? For here, please. To where else can this weary soul go to find solace from the cruel bustle of city life than this here bull injury? I I I'm honored you like it here so much, miss. What did all that stuff you said mean? Nothing. I've just always wanted to say something cool like that. You're, you, Lapis is just so confused at everything with this girl. <laughs> What's up? Nothing. She's just staring blankly. <laughs> oh, I love that. That's so fr... <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> I love that. That was a, that was funny. Want a bite? As cutting edge Rosenberg doll, I can convert septium into energy. 
I have no need for food. Okay, then. <laughs> you sure you don't want a bite? I really want one. Nom. What do you think? I'm not familiar with what taste goes with what words, but... But... This is really good. Success. So you got taste buds. I suppose I do. Even I didn't realize I had them. Rosenberg technology can't be beat. And now that I know... Yeah? I want to have some more. Let's get some food in you, then. I'll order a variety so you can try different flavors. Yay! Oh my lord. I can't believe you tore through their whole menu. You must have a portal for a stomach. I think I understand what you meant before, Nadia. Eating food is an art. You may not understand as well as you think. Well, let's pay the bill and move on to the next place, okay? Nadia and Lapis can now tour the Garnier district. Thank you again for that massive order. It's an absolute joy to see people love our bread as much as you did. <laughs> the joy is all mine. You helped me to discover the joys of food. The satisfaction of tastes like nothing I've ever felt. Uh, I'm sure you're exaggerating, but thank you all the same. Oh, you can get uh, recipes here. You tried the recommended specialty, soft boiled egg sandwich. Cool. And out we go. Uh, Garnier District is the place where, uh, um, oh my god, what's his name? Elliot is from. Oh, no, it's not. It's where the hotel is. And the, uh, horse betting contest, uh, takes place at. Okay. I could have sworn that Garnier meant... I could have sworn the Garnier District was the name of Elliot, Elliot's, uh, home t uh, hometown district. Heimdaller Underground. Was that a tree? It is a tree underground. Those are the same soldiers who were after that who were after that case. So the Imperial Army is in on this? I suspected we would find them here. You finished for transporting all the goods to their destination? Indeed. Preparations are now complete. What happens now hinges on the efforts of you and your comrades tomorrow. You've got nothing to worry about there. We're not just gonna roll over and let our division cease to exist. Van Dyke and Regnitz are going to pay dearly for their cowardice. The Supreme Leader is looking forward to seeing what you can do. We'll restore the Empire to its former glory and crush the loathsome Republic once and for all. Should we strike now? No. There seems to be a rather a lot of them. We wouldn't want our real target slipping away in the, in the ensuing bedlam either. I have some more suitable candidates in mind to take care of this. Huh. Suitable candidates. Is it where Reen is about to go right now? Haim Dollar Garnier District. Hey Nadia, what's next? What are we going to eat now? Since when did the boss tell us to go on some gourmet tour across the city? Can't we? I can tell that you don't care much about gathering intelligence anyway. Let's let let's leave the real work to them so we can have fun. Now you're speaking my language. But if we try something at every spot, I'm gonna go broke as a joke. Oh well. I'll just make Mask reimburse me. Call it a business expense. So let's make it happen, LP. We'll hit the town and stuff ourselves with good eats from one corner to the other. I read the guidebook, so I'll lead the way to the best spots to hit up. Yay, food time! Oh, we got the jewelers in the hotel. Set the jewelers. See, maybe there's some really good accessories here. Shop. Yeah, Passionate Rouge and Still Blues are here. 
But I'm okay with what we got. To, to buy me one of these bad boys. <laughs> uh, we're going straight up ahead. Ice cream. Ice cream crepes. Come on, Nadia. Let's eat already. Don't worry. I got you. Two chocolate banana crepes, please. Got it. Two specials coming right up. If you could give me a few minutes, ladies, I'll whip you up a couple of crepes that'll knock your socks off. Yay! <clears throat> I guess it takes a minute because it's a special. Want to walk around a little more to kill time? Can we? That sounds great. Damn, if it took a couple of minutes to walk around... ...and kill time, as they said... ...then, like... <laughs> Uh, that'd be a terrible business for ice cream. And I already know this is just a rest. But I'm pretty sure, uh, maybe, maybe, maybe. Uh, I think this hotel used to potentially, uh, give you, um, Uh, 200 C, uh, 200 CP recovery. Alright, let's go back. Picking up the crepes will cause the main story to advance. Heimdall will become inaccessible, as will any sub-events yet to be seen. I can go back to the place I've seen, but let's see if there's anything even going down. Not here. It could be like those hidden sub-events, which are things that I'm not a really big fan of that the game does. Yeah, probably. Why is there a yellow... Hold on. Why is, like a... Why is there like a yellow dot? Whoops. So far off to the side. Like way out there. Or maybe I was looking... Oh, mm. I think it was this NPC. Okay. Yeah, there's nothing going on. It's like one of those hidden... Hidden sub-quests. Not a big fan of that stuff. Or hidden sub-events. Just show me the sub-events, please. Here you go. Two chocolate banana crepe specials. Enjoy. Thank you. It's beautiful. You know, I might be kind of late in asking this, but are you all good? With what? Like, is it safe for you to be downing all this human food? You're not going to break from one too many desserts, are you? Huh? I think it's fine. My body seems to be converting the food I consume into fuel to keep me energized. It's not as efficient as recharging with septium, but it's not terrible. Huh. So you're voracious by design. Wait, let me get this straight. You can pick out all you want and not gain a single curum? It just gives you energy? Uh-huh. Rosenberg dolls are made to retain their shape no matter the circumstances. Humans gain fat from eating too much food, though, don't they? Are you looking to gain some weight? Uh, I, uh, I'll be fine. I'm a growing girl with the metabolism of a horse. If I don't eat like crazy, I won't get that extra va va voom that's sure to get S's love on lock. Va va voom sounds nice. Good luck. Oh, there's class 7. They're coming out of the hotel. The exact, uh, that's actually where, uh, the end of their story route ends right there. Why don't we walk and talk? They say that's the best way to enjoy fruit from a stall. Alright, let's go. Since we're on our way, I read that there's a real nice food spot in Bankier. 
Really? Then what are we waiting for? Let's... Ah! Uh. Oop. Oh. You okay? I'm okay. Thank you. Sorry about that. She can be a little clumsy. Aw, no worries. I'm just glad I could be her cushion so she wasn't hurt. Oh no, my crap! Don't be sad. You can have mine, LP. Are... Are you sure? Of course I am. Anything to make you smile. Yay! Thank you again for catching me before I fell. No problem. Just try to watch your step from now on, okay? Okay. That's us leaving the route. And joining their route. Remind me of where we're going again. We're trying to find the army rep the army rebels representative Regnitz informed us about. Easier said than done. Not like they'll pop out of the woodwork to announce themselves around the capital. No kidding. It's gonna take some real footwork to track them down. But for now, it won't hurt to pay a visit to the guild since it's in operation again. Might be able to find a lead there. It's worth a shot, yeah. If anybody's gonna have ints on the rebels around here, it'd be a bracer. The closest branch is probably out on, uh, out east on Alto Street. B and Sarah aren't there right now, though, right? Right. Certainly, it would have hastened our inquiry if we were working with two people we knew, but it is what it is. So, Alto Street's the closest one, not the other one? Uh-oh. This is the same pain I felt before. Reen, everything okay? Since we're on our way, I read that there's a nice food spot along Banker Street. Really? Then what are we waiting for? Oof! Yep, same thing. You okay? I'm okay, thank you. Sorry about that. She can be a little clumsy. Ah, uh, no worries. I'm just glad it could be her cushion so she wasn't hurt. Oh no, my crap! Don't be sad. You can have mine, LP. Are... are you sure? Of course I am. Anything to make you smile. Yay! Thank you again for catching me before I fell. No problem. Just try to watch your step from now on, okay? They seem rather close. They must be real. They must be sisters. Well, if they are, then we gotta show them who comes out on top. Right, Tilly? In what way? As sisters who love each other the mostest. That's what. Incoming! <coughs> Dodges it. Hey, why'd you dodge me? I'm not gonna fall for the same trap twice in one day. So I can still, so I can still hug you once a day. Good to know. That's not what I... Uh-oh, Arcus Tus. Got a message from the Intelligence Division? Yes. It's a reply to the request I filed for materials related to the Imperial Army. Nothing at a glance strikes me as new, however. <clears throat> Sorry about that. That's a bummer. Hey, wait a minute. I was on that request too, wasn't I? How come I didn't get a message? That is strange, now that you mention it. Huh. Maybe I just got distracted by your Arcus going off and didn't notice and didn't notice mine. Let's see. Huh? What the? What the? You're kidding me. What's the matter, Milliam? My Arcus too. It's gone. I can't find it anywhere. Oh my god. Ah. Don't tell me you dropped it somewhere. Is it just me or does that sound bad? Oh, it's bad, all right. Not only is that a custom model, it's up to your neck with all kinds of top secret info. It's got some securities, at least, so not just anyone should be able to access it. But still, not good. If, somebody's wa if somebody wants to hack it badly enough, then that's what they'll do. Well, then let's retrace our steps. Do you think you lost it at the hotel? No way. I definitely ha I still had it on me when we left the lobby. Then you only could have lost it in the last few minutes. Hmm. It's obvious, isn't it? One of those kids swiped it earlier. Bet the one in the purple pretended to trip and swiped it as soon as Milliam caught her. It couldn't be. You think those little girls could coordinate something like that? 
You seen how Tina and Milliam? Besides, both of, them are, both of them are short enough that they'd be easy picking for theft by kids that small. I don't appreciate being called out on my size, but I otherwise agree. As much as I hate to believe it, the most likely suspects here really are them. Indeed, there are no other options given the evidence at hand. Now for the real questions. What real reason could they have for, for potentially stealing it at all? Judging by their appearance, I doubt they intend to hold it for ransom. If they really did take it, there's clearly more to them than meets the eye. Now all we can try to do is now all we can do is try to find them and get it back ASAP. But with the capital being so packed, I doubt we'll be able to find and follow them just like that. You got any ideas, maybe? Heh, <laughs> don't worry. I know just the thing. As it just happens, my Arcus 2 has a special feature for emergencies like this. Oh right, I do recall that feature. Are you talking about some kind of tracking device? Yup. Lucky for me, combat ordnance issued to agents come included with a special kind of transmitter. It's supposed to send out orbital waves every once in a while. If you know a unit's code and frequency, and I know mine, then you can figure out where it is no problem. <laughs> well, ain't that nice and convenient. I know, right? There's lots of other stuff our units can do. I don't get to use them much, but they're still really cool. Personally, I think it'd be more of a shock if vital equipment for agents didn't have such precautions built in. Guess we got our guess we got our solutions then, huh? No need to worry about searching all the crowds. That's right. Now what we're waiting now what are we waiting for? Let's get my little buddy back. I think I could borrow yours until we find mine, Tilly. I don't see why not. Go ahead. I'm surprised she she even knows her frequency. <laughs> it's million for goodness sakes. Okay, turning on tracking mode, narrowing down its location, and found it. The signal is coming from Bankier Street. Alright, well, they probably don't know about the tracking device. Let's see how this turns out. Upon arriving at Bankier Street, Green and the others split into two. Into two groups to look for a pair of girls. However, how did it go? We searched all the stores on the eastern side but to no avail. Same on the west. We even took turns watching people come and go outside but nothing. Should we perhaps ask around? It's possible they might, they might have already moved to another district. Hmm. It might not be worth the time and uh, it'd take in that case. Agreed. The location signal should be updated momentarily anyway. Yep. Right about... Now. They're in Drakehouse Plaza. Great. Let's hurry after them. Damn, that's, that frequency takes way too long. Not as great as it should be, but... I mean, it's still pretty convenient. You gotta be, gotta be honest. i take something that slow over no... <laughs> no tracking device. They're not here either. Hold on. The location data should update in a sec. Okay. Now they're on Alto Street. It feels like we're just playing a game of cat and mouse here. Yeah. Wish you could update more often. This works well enough for when the target, it, for when the target is still standing still. But it isn't likely going to be enough when they're so active. Pah. It's so hopeless. Should we split up and try to cover as many districts as possible then? The capital is too big for that. I think, we sp I think we spread ourselves too thin. And I spent more time walking around the capital today than I've ever wanted. First it was the Garnier district. Then it was Vanker Street. And now Drakehouse Plaza. I feel as though we walked exactly this route just this morning. Now that you mention it. You're right, Eusis. You're a genius. I don't disagree. But what of it? Look at this! That's quite a neatly bound magazine. It's the food issue of the super popular At Home in Hame Dollar series. Yeah, but why are you bringing it up? Because it's a guidebook to all the best spots to eat in the city. It even lists rare seasonal foods. Anybody who loves good food isn't going to walk around here without this. Could you please get to the point? I'm getting there. 
So far, they've gone from the Garnier District of Anchor Street to Drake House Plaza to Alto Street. And when we bumped into them, they were eating the same crepes I got from the Garnier District. Which means, drum roll please, they're following the guidebook's top snacks on tour route. I'd know because I started following the same one. <laughs> I hate how plausible this actually sounds. Can we really afford to stake our success on such a silly sounding idea? <laughs> it might sound silly, but it's better than anything else we've got. So how, we try, how about we try using that magazine to get one step ahead of them? Alright. I'm interested in seeing how this, de how this devolves. Okay. Oh, there they are. They're really here. I knew it. I knew my gut was telling me something good. That it just happened to be hungry at the same time you bumped into them. Yes. Shall we strike immediately? No, duh. I've got to make them pay for stealing my orcas too. Don't do anything yet. Let's listen in on them for a bit. I want to know just who they are. Ah, uh, well, if you say so. Can't believe we did the whole tour in half a day. Is it really so amazing? It's crazy. Just not as crazy as your crazy features. It makes me want to know what the old guy's got his sights set on. Anyways, we should meet up with Mass soon. Do we have to? I really like it here. Good, because we'll be back tonight to clean ourselves some muck and mire. Oh, okay. They said all that they needed to say. That's all the intel they needed. Well, I'm really glad we stayed put now. They went and gave the game away just like that. Max Mask certainly has to refer to C. Oh, the muck and mire part must be in reference to the muck and mire that gathers in the Vermilion City. Then those two must be the members of the Reborn Imperial Liberation Front. Much as I'd rather not believe that two young girls like that are involved in terrorism. Little Miss Cotton Candy sure made it sound like this was business as usual for her. Good work reeling in the big one, guys. Are we not going to follow them? She said their cleaning up was going to take place tonight. If we wait till then, we may be able to catch the rest of them at work as well. I agree. We don't want them noticing us and risk C not showing. It won't be much longer, but tonight will be that much closer to our next step. What is it, Nadia? Nothing. Just weighing out who's the prey and who's the bait between us. Who's the what? Don't worry about it, LP. You, you don't need to understand. But I want to. Seems like Nadia isn't just like saying this stuff just to uh just because she thinks that it's only them two. She's saying it to like bait them out. Care to share what we've accomplished? Sure thing. We actually got a lot done on our end. We found several of their bases in the city. Plus we figured out where they'll be meeting tonight. Nice work. And we got to try lots of good food. Well, it's a relief I wasn't expecting anything from you. Hey, that's rude. She managed to try almost all the city's best foods in a single day. I'd call that a big accomplishment in my book. It would be if that's what we were here for. I hope we weren't slacking off with her. Of course not. I worked so hard, S. You did not. You were playing around with me the whole time. See? I got my hands on Milliam Orion's Arcus 2, one of our targets. It's bound to be full of juicy info. What? When did you get that? Do you remember when that blue haired girl you bumped it? Do you remember that blue haired girl you bumped into? Her name's Milliam. Wait, then the reason I tripped was Yup, cause I threw out some thread. How could you? That's so mean. I nabbed this when you bumped into her. That doesn't excuse ruining my crep. What if I took what if I took you on another food adventure to make up for it? Then all will be forgiven. You've got the poor girl wrapped around your finger already, huh? 
It seems we've all accomplished a little something then. I'd say so, yeah. So, all good. All good. The stage is set. We need only to wait for the curtains to arise. Interesting. I feel like C's uh, route is like the most funnest one of them all. To be honest. I'm not really interested in uh, like pl like doing any combat with them. Because I find it very difficult to play with these characters in combat. Because uh, you don't really got too many people that are sticking out in that in in uh in terms of combat but like but like uh the thing is like their story like just i want to just watch their story i don't even want to i don't want to play really like i'm okay with going to place to place uh hitting you know main, main event to main event and stuff like that but i, I don't really want to do the, the any combat with them i find it uh just more fun to just watch their story unfold and also man his, his what he just said right there then let us begin sounds exactly like rufus's accent he rufus like his voice actor has a certain tone the way he pronounces words the way he speaks it sounds just like rufus it's like killing me it sounds like him and there's milliam and Altina. It sounds like Rufus, but at the same time, it, how can it be Rufus when he's in crossbow, potentially? Because we don't necessarily saw see where Rufus, you know, Potential. Well, see that the video. It sounds like Rufus. <laughs> Dolly. <laughs> Dynamite came in small packages, but now terrorists do too. Oh yeah, I'm so and such. <laughs> that easily. And I am not your instructor. No. Oh. I was like, what is he talking about? <clears throat> are we actually going to fight this? Yeah, we are. Who are we playing as, though? It did sound. It sounded like we swapped over to. Yeah, Reen's side. I knew it. Reduce all enemies HP to a certain amount. Alright, well, we got a pretty... Well, we got actually our top tier team right here, actually. Right, I don't have a, hundred, a 200 CP. I'm gonna activate... Evasion. 
damage 30 percent wow with a nice strength buff i like that let's activate infernal hunt And I'm gonna do true helix. And if I can get the crit. Oh, wait, I already. I forgot. I can't. Um. Waning Crescent Slash. Because I was like, yeah, let me go get my BP by. Uh, uh, let me use my BP by using a rush and then get my 5 BP next turn. But then I forgot, like. <laughs> I forgot that, uh. I just used an order that used 2 BP. All right, we're going to do Reaper's Whirlwind because we're going to get 50% uh, damage up on this. Burst. Nice. That's a giant arc. Of Probably the... It has to be Galleon Fort. One of them is weak to water. Nadia is. Mega Lift falls better though. Cause I like the defense down potential uh, chance. And we're gonna try to cast the Crescent Mirror. Oh God, they can enhance themselves. And heart, that's her enhance. Now you're going to get that reflected right back at you, buddy. Galleon for it. Yep. Alright. We're going to go into Spirit Unification. My order wears off, but I'm going to go ahead and cast an Infernal Hunt. Actually, I'm going to cast Noble Arc. And I'm gonna cast Glinting Slash Shredded Leaves. Nice. Another Megalith Far right here. Diamond Nova right here. Nice. I think that's all of them. Oh, well, we have her, but... There you go. Nice and easy. We got the best team in, like... Honestly, <laughs> like, ever. Like, this is like the dream team, really. Arena is just really good. Like, all four of them. I just gotta get a better back row to get, like, really good orders to help back us up. Oh, crap. Are we playing as their side now? Yes, we are. Okay. Let's cast criminals a uh, criminal's raid. And I'm going to cast Zavaro. And I'm gonna S craft Brandish. It gave me some it's some sort of buff. Yeah, Brandish is some sort of buff. I don't know what it is though. There we go with Adamus Reaper. Or Ripper, I mean. And then we're gonna S craft of her, my mirror image.
Uh, honestly, if we keep this up with just attacking and then S-crafting immediately afterwards, we're going to just take them all out. We'll rush. And then I'll S-craft of her. Nadia special. I was like, wow, my high speed is looking really slow. Alright, and then we do this. Into a nice S-craft. And that should end it. Yeah, Ash is out. Elliot's out. I think the rest were too. <laughs> it just kind of stopped it right there. gonna blow it up oh I was about to say my the the ornaments let me keep my I shouldn't have put ornaments on her I was gonna be like dang dang my ornaments don't gotta go that far Elliot seems to understand something going on. I don't. I don't. They fled underground. I don't think that's how that works. If I open up a, a door outside and I'm like way off to the side, I'm not going to feel that wind. <laughs> oh man, that's funny. I'm, I guess you feel wind when you're out there like that, right? These underground passages never get any less gloomy. Feels as though this one has been seeing a lot of use lately. Looks that way. Could C's group be using it as a hideout? That seems rather unlikely. Yeah, if that were the case, they probably wouldn't want us to lure... They probably, wanna, they probably wouldn't want to lure us down here. Let's just keep going. I'm sure we'll find an answer further in. Agreed, but watch out. I can sense some pretty tough monsters down here. Alright, back to playing as, uh, Reen and everyone. Let's rest up. I love how I got my CP and everything right back. By a good bit, though. Doesn't seem like there's anything new. No. これは隠し扉か。実習の時とは違う道に繋がってるな。あ、can't These are where the troops that we saw earlier were. Is this a storage area? It certainly looks that way. There's a ton of food here. Much of it is non-perishable. Much of it non-perishable. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, Yusis? Likely so. This must be where all those bulk purchases Milliam and I were looking up, were looking into, into ended up. Oh my God. This is the last place I would have thought to look. The goods were right on our doorstep the whole time. This area is full of guns. The same kind that the Imperial Army uses too. I think it's safe to assume the rebels in the army were the ones who supplied these. I see orbments, ammo, fuel too. Quite a stockpile, I gotta hand it to them. The muck that gathers in the Vermilion City indeed. I think it's reasonably likely that there are storage areas like this elsewhere too. 
which means we're dealing with a significant amount of supplies. And that begs the question of what they're planning on using all this stuff for. Whatever it is, it can't be anything good. Either way, we need to focus on catching C for now. Let's get moving. Yeah. Any hidden chests behind any of these? I think it... I was going to say, it doesn't appear on the map, but no, 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 it doesn't. Only when you see it. Uh, Rage, uh, which gives you La Forte, which is good. Accuracy and evasion, 10%, and counterattacks. After evading, always deal critical damage. I have La Forte on someone. I don't remember who, though. I think it was on the SSS side. So I'll hold... I'll hold it. Or maybe I didn't. I don't think I did that. Maybe I didn't put it on. Yeah. I think I I think I remember saying something along the lines of, Oh, LaForte, I don't really need it because I, I got my pretty much my whole team that just buffs themselves anyways. Yeah. Which is true. <laughs> oh, Rush. Also, my tactics are all messed up. These links should not be the way they should be. There you go. The... Oh, wow. Guard break, though. Nice. Oh, but man, they restored next turn. I love it. Elliot leveled up to level 106. And learned Blue Oratorio, too. I think you're learning, like, crafts and, you know, bu buffed up crafts and stuff like that really often because you're not going to go that high in level in this game compared to others. You have routes and it seems like it's more focused on a story this time around. I don't know, maybe maybe. I don't think we're going to go like to 100 uh, like anywhere close to 200 or anything like that. Um I don't even think we're going to even hit 170 maybe. Elliot's Blue Oratorio Oratorio 2 which is the buff. Uh C+, plus, S+ plus and break, uh no unbalanced medium set AoE will Sleep and mute 100% chance. Do 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 do. Look at this thing. These enemies were in code steel. But I don't think they look like this. Also, my tactics. Come on, man. I gotta remember this. Yep. Cross Crusade. Blue Ascension. There you go. Uh, Elise um, levels up to level 105. Or Elise, Elise. Whoa. I think I, I think it's because I was playing like a, I was playing or watching something earlier that someone had the same name, but it was, it was pronounced Elise. Sorry. <laughs> oh, tactics, tactics, tactics. There we go. You gotta have them a little bit spread. Because then they're gonna get hit in too many AoEs. But not too spread where they do, where they can't get into like nice team heals or team, team recoveries. Alright. There's a UR chest right there. Let's pe uh, cast a Crescent Mirror. We'll cast Nemesis Arrow. Uh, Spirit Unification. 
into Let's go with Inferno Hunt. Me doing that doesn't allow me to go get a get a little attack out and then S craft. I know that doing that gives me a gigantic delay, but it's it's still just really good. Let's use Void Breaker EX on this guy. Like I said, this is the boss killing move. He's gonna hurt a lot. 50% damage buff. Damage up with that, cause the the orb mint. I don't even think I need Crescent Mirror at that point, cause. Okay. I'll wear him down naturally. Don't want to use too much CP here. Throw those bubbles. Okay. Alright, let's see what's inside that UR chest. Crescent mirror you are? <laughs> Shining you are. Uh, medium support AoE that cures blind and gives insight for four turns. Pretty crap. Shrink from defense plus 60, accuracy plus 100. Crap though. That has good, uh, good stats, but crap effect. Oh wait, that's where I came from. Left is the way to go, but let's go right, of course. Ooh, a triple chain battle. Let's do it. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. I can't recover. Oh, damn. Oh, Tina's ability is like very instant. Void Breaker EX in this guy. Rush. Nice. That's exactly what I want. I want to break the big guy. Alright. Countered. Wow, I missed him. I kind of really like this battle theme. I, really, uh, I think the person... I don't really know uh, my instruments all too well, but if that's a violin that I'm hearing, uh, uh, that one part that just passed, I really like it. Come on, I want to get the unbalanced. I can rush. Doesn't matter now. I guess it kind of did. Ah, uh, too slow. It's going to end before it even matters. A nice zero order. I'm gonna use this to heal. I'm I'm pretty sure I can take these guys out very easily. So in that case, Sapphro Symphony. We'll rush. And, ah, dang! I don't have the United Front ability. I was hoping I could get some BP back with that. Let's just attack naturally so we can restore uh, um, CP. 
And hey, I got to restore two BP at least. Can I go for a third? I doubt it, but... Nice. A lot of stuff leveled up. And Master Court Cannon hit level 7, which is the god tier. The god Master Court for heals. Uh, Blue Ascension. So, um, learn Blue Ascension and the potency of your healing arts by 3.25 has increased. Um, and your AoEs are 3 extra spaces bigger. Um, also, Green hit level 107 with Ash, Otina, Elliot, Elise hit level 106. 105 million, and she learned Ultimate Barrier EX, which is a physical immunity to herself. 105 for Usis. Okay. Here's a lever. Oh, this is the way we're supposed to go, actually. I'm. S okay, okay, okay. I thought this led over there. Uh, Megalith Fall works wonders here. Oh, yeah, absolutely, then. Try to save all of our resources. BP is not something that resting at an Ormond charging station will... Will, you know, refund me. Also, they blinded Ash, so that's not good. Nice damage, though. Holy hell! Uh, Milium hit level 106 along with Yusus. They just leveled up and they got another level up. That's how much XP we got on that last battle. Alright. And we got a Brave Seed. Rare item has been inventoried. Yay. Yes, I can hit this up. Without triggering that cutscene that's literally right next to the Orbit Charging Station. Alright. Uh, um, so, guys. Clearly, we have a cutscene in our hands. This could be uh, uh, a cutscene that will lead to a lot of crap right now. But... I, we have run out of our time. We only have nine minutes left. And you know how cutscenes can be in this game where they can last 20 to 30 minutes or longer. So I don't ever, with this game, I don't, I don't push it. <laughs> I don't push it. If there's a cutscene and I have like 12 minutes left, I don't, I don't push it. Anyways, guys, I want to thank you guys for being here. Um, we have a lot more streams this week. We have another one tomorrow, but tomorrow is going to be one of the shorter streams. It's going to be as soon as I come out of work and take a little bit of, of a quick power nap, I'll be throwing up a, uh, a stream. Um, like I said, um, those streams can be anywhere from 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. their start time. Um, and so they're going to be anywhere from two hours long to three hours long. So expect that anywhere there. It depends on when I wake up and how tired I feel. It, it all depends on all of that. But if for any reason I feel extremely tired and um, I, I can't stream, I'm never going to try to... I'm going to try, you know, my best to get a good nap at least, but yeah. Um, so there could be not, there also could not be a stream, but don't worry. I'm doing my dang best to make sure that I, I stream on those days no matter what. But anyways, guys, thank you guys for being here as I do throw up another save just to be sure. And I'll see you guys tomorrow anywhere between 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. So yeah, take care, enjoy yourselves, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.